Magic fans. And actually, I just realized this, Jake. One of the longest running sports talk shows in Orlando. We've been at it for 13 seasons. How is that possible? Oh, wow. That's good stuff, Dante. And that's exactly what you'll get on Magic Drive Time each day. It's your touchstone for the latest Magic news, game previews, and reviews. We've got more stats and notes, and we know what to do with. Listen to Magic Drive Time on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. At GiveMeTheVin.com, it's all digital. We have a 45-second offer online. It's fast, it's easy, and we have the best online reviews on the planet. Sell me your car. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. You can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 dollars on all patio doors plus no money down no payments and zero percent interest for 12 months visit rbafla.com for details expires april 30th some restrictions apply and if you're looking for a new career renewal by anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience official partner of the tampa bay buccaneers again visit rbafla.com for details license number cgc 1527613 in the 90s, New York detective Louis Scarcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. In today's Marketers Report, Kate Cronin, Chief Brand Officer of Moderna, weighs in on the speed of audio production. In this day and age, and particularly at Moderna, where we have new information coming out on a regular basis, being able to feed that information to the audio format makes being nimble and pivoting easy, and that's what I really like about it. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, insights, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and c It is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. Lots to get to today. From here come the cicadas to the space station. Drop trash on a house. And why you don't use AI to plan your vacation. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Hello. Hello, 
Sealand. What's happening? And hello to you. You can join us on the show today. All you have to do is send us a dispatch. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash thenewsjunkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a share the show Tuesday? Oh, yeah. That's when you share the show today. You send somebody a link to thenewsjunkie.com slash share. You follow us on some social media platform. You send a link to the podcast, the live stream to a friend. You take a moment out of your ever-loving time, friends, to hit that like button on the stream right there. Like, 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 just like that. If Easy to do. All you got to do is share the show today on a Share the Show Tuesday. How is everybody doing today? Pretty good. Yeah, good. Yeah? All right. Wow. Okay. You guys sound like you're actually in a good mood today. That's well, interesting. What do you mean, actually? Well, I'm usually in a good mood. Yeah, I would say the same. Are I'm you just saying good? Like, more so than normally, uh, it seems like you're you're in a good mood. Yeah. And... I mean, I'm, I uh, have a, a very long day ahead of me. Celine had the same yesterday, doing some oh, fill-in for the rest yeah. of the station. So I had to make sure I was up early. I had breakfast for the first time in months. Look at this. Uh, <laughs> and I, I'm ready to party for the next eight hours. You're putting together a little day right here. All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I now heard a little bit yesterday. This could all fall apart within the next 30 minutes. Let's be no, perfect. No, you've clear. had breakfast. You've prepared yourself. They call it the most important meal of the day. I don't know if they're accurate about that. That was big breakfast. Come yeah. On. There was a big push on that, wasn't there? And there was like that whole milk, it, it does a body good. And you're like, I got to drink milk. Well, milk yeah. was milk was does a body good. And then, um, and then they, and then they, I, I don't know if that one went, went stale. And then they just went with got milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you just have it? Great. Uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty lazy marketing. Got milk? I mean, drink it, don't drink it, okay, but as long as you got it. Uh, uh, but then I, uh, they also had the part of this complete breakfast. They're yeah. like, oh, uh, you know, uh, a, 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 a tiger cereal uh, the, with uh, 18 grams of sugar is part of your complete breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure part is. of a balanced breakfast is that one of the too. things. They, yeah, they used to say that all the time. Uh, I know this, friends, on a lovely uh, day like this, I have the worst self-imposed earworm that I've had in a very long time. Ooh, which uh, because, one? As you can tell, uh, at the very beginning of the show, I said, here come the cicadas. And after I wrote that down in my head, I said, word a rap. And now... Here come the cicadas. <laughs> I'm the lyrical gangsta. <laughs> all I have is that going... And it all, I don't even have... I just have the first line. Over and over. Here come the cicadas. Over and over and over again. Dial emergency number. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to what's happening with those momentarily. But first, let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse. Let's see what's happening in this great big wide world of ours. And we go to... American Idol, friends. Oh, wow. uh, it's still around, I guess. Good I don't know. I saw Katy Perry at the iHeartRadio Music Awards. Oh, what did you, you think of her outfit? Oh. It was um, looked like something you're like your horny aunt would wear. You know what I mean? She was <laughs> very stage mom. Uh, there was like several moments in which it was posted on Instagram, turning to the audience, and she's going like this to the uh, two thumbs up to the people mm -hmm. performing, despite not knowing them at all. She's like, "You're doing a great job." Yeah, the dances. she seems like she's not the cool one anymore, but she kind of wants to still hang out with fellow kids, like hang cool out one. with her. <laughs> she's still out there. So she's doing the American Idol thing with Lionel Richie and the other country guy. Uh, forgive me for not Blake? remembering his name. Uh, Luke Prime. Oh, Luke, Luke Prime. Prime. And they're all doing their American Idol thing. C Lane's mom, Mama Lane, the last one watching. I don't, even know if, I don't even know if she's still watching, to be I honest. I think my mom <laughs> still does every once in a while. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, uh, during one of the performances, Madai Shakel, her uh, performance during the show, things started to go south. And I've never heard this before. And they kept it in the edit. They did. <laughs> they did keep it in the edit. And I've never heard this happen before. But you know how they have somebody play along with them? Like, there'll be somebody on the piano that's playing along mm -hmm. for their performance. She fired her pianist what? Uh, on, on American stage? Idol. Yeah, Is yeah, that even yeah. her pianist? <laughs> uh, no, fire? not really. Okay. No, I don't think so, but it got awkward. It's a house band. Yeah. You don't need a, lot of money. a little pitchy, right? see like, oh. some of the judges looking at her like, are you, are you hitting the right notes 
I don't even know but the it's song. The piano guy's fault for sure. It's an well, Ariana she, Grande song. Yeah, I, the tattooed heart by Ariana Grande. I guess I knew and that. Then, I didn't just read it. She <laughs> she she gets a little angry here. The slide in the American Idol dramatic. <laughs> they haven't changed that in all the years. It's still like. It's expensive, same thing. Man. I guess it is. They locked in on that sound and they said, we're going to keep this for uh, the rest of the history of this damn show, which will go on for 8 billion years. So she's like, hold on, hold on. Can we, can we start that over? Uh, I wasn't feeling that one. Sorry, y'all. I wasn't feeling that one. Oh. Right, you got it. You got it this time. I like how the keyboard is just like. You know, right around again. We've only practiced this 50 times before we went live on the show. That guy's got a deer in the headlights like, I'm not used to getting talked to. (laughs) I don't even have a microphone over here. Like, I I can't interact with you. You don't need a lot of money. Sounds the same. And you don't have to play those games. Here we go. Okay, we're going to do this acapella because that's not flowing the way we practice. (laughs) <laughs> well, uh, We're going to do this acapella Because that's not flowing the way we practice Sorry Ooh. I mean there was a significant key change in that It sounds yeah. strange like when it, Yeah when it rolls over But I think I'm just going to guess by I guess the keyboard player, player is like a professional I guess it's just how it goes Whatever was happening Wasn't working super well for her there And then I guess she yelled at one of the judges or something I'm going to do it like this okay. Work Okay you don't need Can Perry say word? Uh, that is better. And you don't have to play those games. This is the key chains. Now, all I need is all your loving. It's better without the keyboard. I'm going to be honest with you. She sounds better right now. And I guess she goes on to just yell at uh, the Luke Bryan guy. She it took some low blows at Luke Bryan. Oh, uh, she going to make it saying, to the next round? Uh, I don't know. That's not a good way to do it. He said, uh, is your voice okay? You were shaky in spots. And she like, you know, when's the last time you sang live on a stage? And, oh, 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 damn. Calm down, everybody. Jeez. Uh, so that's what's happening. It's still going on over there. They're still giving out golden tickets to Hollywood and all that good stuff. So there goes nothing. It's not Meanwhile, on Fox anymore, right? They, they, I thought it no, was. no, no, oh. I think it moved over. I think, oh. hold on. Uh, I think it was on, I just saw it, but uh, I think it was on ABC. I That's what I wrong. thought it was, yeah. Cause, or was it on ABC and it moved to Fox? I forgot the journey. You know, it's on ABC now. Well, yeah. I was always curious how that worked because I remember uh, hearing that if you got a certain, if you got beyond a certain level in American Idol, like you got to Hollywood and then there's maybe, I don't know how many people they, they bring over there, but let's say there's 30. Yeah. And if you got to like the top 10 or top 15, at some point you sign a contract and Fox gets a portion of whatever you make for your life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard yeah. that too. And, and, I, and it sucks. Whatever the deal yeah, is, it's just it's, bad. it's a terrible deal. But you're just, you know, you want to be famous. You want to be an American Idol. And you will mm-hmm. be at Applebee's five years from now as a former American Idol top 10. And Fox or, gets half of your Applebee's exactly. money. Or, or you'll be uh, that tiny guy from the Dr. Pepper commercials. That's uh, Hell, where you're First of up. all, he was runner up. <laughs> he was number the two. First yeah. American Idol season. But, but that's and what I'm saying. Even the if best you're. move on his part. Even if you don't win even if you're runner up they and you you make it big they get you know uh, a big chunk of your earnings so i was like i wonder how that works with abc running the show or at least airing the oh, show sure now it's the same thing right. yeah look cause it's not like they're not sticking their hand in the cookie jar they're still gonna be making money somehow they always manage somehow some way Meanwhile, in the world of sports, everybody, oh, the uh, March Madness sports. action, it's on out there. It's on. It's fun, and people are gambling on it. And one thing that continues to dominate headlines is Caitlin Clark in the world of women's college basketball. And she just won her team into the final four, and she got 41 points, including 27 from the three-point slot. <laughs> Had 12 assists and seven rebounds. She's just a phenomenal college basketball player on the female side. Did you see the update on the the big three league that she was invited to? Oh, no. Did she she say yes or no to that? I did not see it. So she, um, I don't think it was a straight up no, but has uh, decided to continue moving forward, not in the big three Mm -hmm. uh, path. 
but Ice Cube had like tweeted out or made a statement and the along the lines of that was not supposed to be public yeah. by any means. Like that was supposed to be a private conversation. Of course, now that it's out in the open, we did offer that, but she's going to go a different way. How did it get so out in the open then? Because it was definitely uh, out in the open. <laughs> It was There's like absolutely a, a mole inside the big three or in the basketball or, world. Or the big three, like, 100% wanted that to get out there because they're like, this will give us some press. Yeah, that's even a if lot she of money. The well, the WNBA ain't paying out a lot. They're now d- dialing in what she could be making when she's done with her season. And the updated number is saying she could earn a rookie salary in the WNBA of $76,000 dollars. Um, The next year, $78,000, and in 2026, $85,000. The fourth-year option would lock her in at $97,000. Four years from now, one of the biggest names ever in female basketball would be making under six figures in 2027 in the Women's National Basketball Association. I think that's what the A stands for. Uh, They said it's a four-year, $338,000 contract. Friends, I, I don't say this from a point of uh, braggery, but there are a lot bigger contracts signed uh, at, at even radio stations every single day than that. Oh, $338,000 really? for four years? For four years of a professional sports contract? That is pathetic, man. And that's going to be like, I guess that's just the entry level that they have for people in the WNBA because the league doesn't generate as much money as they should. Good God. Hopefully that paves the path for somebody in the future to make a little bit more. Again, I know if you're like tarring a roof, you're like, wow, what are you talking about? $100,000, almost $100,000, Sean. If you were in the NBA, you're making at least a mil, like bottom line. You're making a million dollars. People you can't even name on the team are making a million dollars a year, right? Like this is a whole different world. For four years, she's only making a third of that, what they're making in one year. That's crazy. She got to be more valuable to the team than that. There's no doubt about that in my mind. I'd pay her uh, the, that salary to be on this show and just like uh, talk okay. about. Okay, what about the two <laughs> people that you work with? I'm look. I'm just saying she would bring us huge national attention, and it's three hundred thirty thousand dollars for four years of an incredibly famous person's time. She's a big name right now. Is uh, she any just, good at radio? Probably not, okay? She probably sucks at radio. Uh, like, every time I hear these people, oh, good God. I don't want to come down on the sports folks, but every time I hear, like, the locker room interviews and stuff and they got the microphone up in somebody's face, they go, how was it out there on the field today or on the court? Oh, we we're just trying to get it together with the guy. Oh, my God, I'm sleeping. I'm bored to tears. I mean, you, you remember my favorite. Was, uh, you know, we just try to go up there and put the ball in the hole. Yeah, we try to do that. And that's what they did with Caitlin Clark out on the court. And LSU wasn't able to knock them down as they had previously. Here is the coach of LSU, Kim out there, Kim Mulkey, talking about what it's like to play against Caitlin Clark. Here she goes. In terms of how you wanted to defend uh, Caitlin Clark. Um, and then also just wondering, you know, it seemed like you had a long embrace and some kind words for after the game and the handshake line. Just wondering if, if you wanted to share what those were. Well, there's not a whole lot of strategy. You got to guard her. Nobody else seems to be able to guard her. You got to guard, guard her. last year when we beat them. Um, she's just a generational player. And um, girl, you something else. Never seen anything like it. Big compliments from a coach. You want to hear that. Like, if that would be, like, uh, the the competing radio stations across the street saying things like that about us. Like, you know what? Just glad we're not up against you anymore. Glad we don't have to deal with that these days. I would never. They probably would. But in their hearts, in their hearts, they believe it. In their hearts, they probably believe it. I saw Uh, a guy uh, playing guitar in Tampa where we were were just kind of, like, pre-gaming for a Pearl Jam concert. Right. That was me. Uh, It was not you. It was shredding. (laughs) Uh, the, the dude was very good though, and I like I dropped him a tip. And I was like, "Thank you for not living in Orlando. Thank you. Nah, Please stay nice. in Tampa." All right, I like that. So they won ninety-four to eighty-seven over LSU. Iowa headed to the Final Four. There we go. When we come back, we have so much to get into on a share the show Tuesday, including here come the cicadas. Uh, Murder on the way, and there are. 
Well, there are a lot of them, friends. Trillions, in fact. Where will you see them? How do you get around them? How do you get them off your windshield? All that and a whole lot more. Is this a biblical invasion? It sure looks like it. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. They won't tell you this, but your pets are pretty lonely when you leave. No worries. We'll keep them company. Just say, Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Traveling on I-4 this morning, you can expect a bit of delays eastbound before U.S. 27 and after State Road 429. There's an accident on I-4 eastbound approaching Central Florida Parkway, partially blocking the right lane. Travel with caution through there. The left lane is blocked on Sand Lake Road westbound at I-4, and the on-ramp from Sand Lake Road to I-4 westbound is partially blocked as well. If you see traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Hey, everyone. I'm Dante Marcatello. And I'm Jake Chapman. We're the hosts of Magic Drive Time, the only daily audio fix for Orlando Magic fans. And actually, I just realized this, Jake, one of the longest-running sports talk shows in Orlando. We've been at it for 13 seasons. How is that possible? Oh, wow. That's good stuff, Dante. And that's exactly what you'll get on Magic Drive Time each day. It's your touchstone for the latest Magic news, game previews and reviews. We've got more stats and notes, and we know what to do with. Listen to Magic Drive Time on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Progressive presents 10 things on a food truck owner's to-do list that are harder than getting a commercial auto insurance quote. Stocking the fridge, prepping the stations, finding employees that get along well, finding employees that actually do their job. Looking at you, Gary. Balancing the books, balancing the flavors, having a fresh menu and fresh produce and fresh meat, but never a fresh mouth. But the easiest thing on a small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you can save on commercial auto insurance. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Coverage subject to policy terms and conditions. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. I occasionally have nerve discomfort in my hands, so the things I love to do... Let's play something, Grandma! ...became difficult as I got older. If you have occasional stabbing and burning in your hands and feet, try Nervive Nerve Relief. Nervive's clinically studied dose of alpha-lipoic acid reduces occasional nerve discomfort in as little as seven days with continued daily use. Say yes to healthy nerves with Nervive Nerve Relief. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? 
I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? <laughs> You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Get back Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. Think orange for your next vehicle. OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This weird thing that happens every once in, oh, I don't know. Every 221 years, that's how often this happens. So we'll get into what's going down with the cicada weirdness, biblical craziness that's going to be seen in all these cities on the East Coast and beyond in a bit. But first, tips at thenewsjunkie.com. James emails, and he says, uh, the NBA can pay big contracts because it generates more money than it costs to run the league. Oh, my God. Uh, so how many times works. do we get this explained to us? In fact, it generates enough money to subsidize for the WNBA, the deficit between its cost and what it generates. Uh, the NBA does, in fact, pick up the tab because it's owned by the same company, right? Now, the, like the same company owns both of them. I think the WNBA loses like $10 million a year, which was one of the rabbit holes I went down when I learned why. I was like, why, why was Brittany Griner going to Russia, right? And I was just talking about, you know, Caitlin Clark, when she gets a deal, she's hoping to get like $80,000 a year in her first year in the WNBA. She's insane, but she's allowed to do like endorsements and stuff, right? Oh, yeah, and, okay. and she will kill it on that. She'll like dwarf, she'll make millions and millions of dollars on endorsements. The WNBA is just a vehicle for her. That's how this works. And that that's true for a lot of athletes too. They, they make more money doing endorsements than they do in the league. And, um, you know, I've heard big star athletes would say, hey, uh, I've never spent a dime of the money I've made on uh, my team. Like, I just put it all in the bank because I, I use endorsement money for stuff. But Brittany Griner, 
she was going over to Russia every year and playing professional basketball in Russia. And obviously, you know, she was like held by the Russians and they said she had some vape thing or whatever, but they held her and it clearly was like a political thing. Uh, they said Brittany Griner was making a million dollars a year in Russia playing basketball. And that's why she was going over there every year. There's a fraction of, of it's like uh, multiples of what she makes uh, in the WNBA just going over and playing for Russia. So she went and did it every year. Isn't that so weird that you're like a star player, but in your home country, you can't make enough. So you have to go off to Russia. Yeah. And why, like are Russians watching women's basketball in much bigger numbers? And like, you know, women in, in the United States of America just do not like women's basketball i guess they just do not in, in large enough numbers tune into you're half the country for god's sake you got to be able to make those numbers rise to make it more profitable just doesn't seem to work the cicadas are coming our way and it's weird it's a weird weird time this all right, I, you guys know how cicadas work in a very basic way right like yeah. they they don't just come out every year they go underground for a while and then, like, years later, they all, like, come forward and, and fly around and stuff. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Was there not a cicada invasion in Vegas or, or Nevada or something like yes. a year ago? Yeah, not that long ago, there was one in Vegas that was, like, so bad, people didn't want to be outside. Like, there was so many of these animals just flying around. Well, uh, come inside the casino where it's Sid Cata free. <laughs> Isn't that nice? And $5 that dollar blackjack. Meanwhile, they got some dude making minimum wage on the Vegas trip with an old broom just shoving them cicadas, you know? Just pushing the cicadas into a big, giant cicada pile like it's snow. And he's plowing it out, Mr. Plow style. It is vile. And gross and weird, but it will be the first time in 221 years that two types of cicadas, brood 19 and brood 13, they will rise from the ground at the same time. Oh. Back when Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson was president, this happened, and it won't happen again until 2244, folks. So this is rare. Oh, God, and we're going to be at that age where we're telling grandkids or something, right? Like, oh, what, could I be? remember oh. when uh, the last cicada invasion was. <laughs> yeah, this is a great cicada invasion. And think about I'm it sorry, like this. That, were you implying that you plan on living till 2244? Oh, you said 22. I, th I thought you said 2044. <laughs> you well, be you real. never know the technology. You are going to be decrepit. I missed the exact date that you said. And, you know, it'll, be the, it'll be the ultimate retribution for that old person voice you make that uh, pisses people off. That I'll will be, be ahead in the jar, obviously, <laughs> and uh, it, the technology shall exist, and the cicadas uh -huh. will live on to uh, tell the tale. Well, the thing in Vegas that you were talking about, Sabrina, that was one of these broods of cicadas coming forth from the ground after all these years. This is so two. They so just double trouble. A cycle of being in the ground for a while, being outside for a while, in the ground for a while, outside for a while. Yeah, look up one of these. Look up a brood XIX cicada and see if you can find the life cycle. Because as I know it, like they go, uh, they're like the eggs are like underground for a very long time, and then eventually the eggs pop up. You know, they're born, they're hatched into the cicadas. And then it's chaos, pandemonium. It's the stuff when they, when it happened during the biblical times, they were like, this is a sign of the coming of Christ. What is happening here? But now it's just, you know, Friday or whatever. And these things come out in droves. But the life cycle is uh, something that's pretty wild, if you can bring that so up somewhere. The uh, brood 13, All right. the northern Illinois brood, that has a 17-year life cycle. Okay. And then the brood... 19, which is the uh, Great Southern Brood, that's 13 years. Okay, so that means, like, right now, when these these uh, cicadas go out and, you know, they're just going to be mating the whole time, then 13 to 17 years later, the cicadas that are the offspring of them will finally emerge from the ground and be born. Any two specific broods of different life cycles co-emerge only once every 221 years. And That's that seems like insane. enough time to stop it, don't you? <laughs> right, just flamethrower on the ground. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, that would be frightening. Yeah, I mean, is, is cicadas, do they have a positive purpose? Like, you know... 
if, if people you know don't like bees, they don't want to get stung by bees. But there are people that if you start killing bees, they're like, no, 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 no. Uh, they have this to pollinate says, the flowers. Do cicadas have any use, or c- could yeah. we eradicate? Don't be alarmed. Cicadas are not harmful to humans, pets, household gardens, it's not or what crops. I asked. In fact, they're a valuable food source for birds and mammals. Cicadas can aerate lawns and improve water filtration into the ground while they add nutrients to the soil as they decompose. They're just dying everywhere, and the dying helps out the grass is what they're saying. That's fine. But the real problem is that there's so many of them, it's like covering your windshield in the goop. And you know what I'm talking about. If you've ever driven, especially if you've driven our friends in Dallas, our friends in Rochester, if if you've driven in the southeast in particular, and you've driven during a little time that we like to call love bug season, you know that like goop that you get because your windshield gets hit with so many of these things and they have to on the turnpike and on other like interstates, they have to put these little pull off areas so that people can line up one by one with their cars and drive through so you can get all the goop off your windshield. And this is 10 times worse than that. That's what we're going to be dealing with here. One to two inch long bugs possess sturdy bodies, bulging compounded red eyes, and membranous wings with a three inch wingspan, and they will be ever present very, very soon. We want to hear from you? Send us a dispatch. Go over to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. See, Lane, I think you said you're watching the three body problem. We started on- it. I, I started it too. We haven't, Both of you? We haven't okay. like revisited it in a little bit. A little confusing, but I am intrigued, that's for sure. The story behind the story is even crazier to me. So uh, Quinn Lee is one of the producers of Netflix's hit high, uh, sci-fi series, Three Body Problem. That's the one that c and Sabrina are watching. And Lynn Q, or Lynn Kui, was murdered, right? One of the producers of Three Body Problem was murdered. And the man who murdered him was recently sentenced to, to death by a Chinese court. The judgment brings some closure to a heinous crime that has rattled the Chinese tech industry and brought a dark undercurrent to the buzzy streaming show on Netflix. Here's what they say about this. The guy Lin Qi, Lin Qi, is a Chinese gaming billionaire, and he was poisoned in 2020 by his colleague, a lawyer named Zhu Yao, the court found. According to the court, Zhu's decision to kill the 39-year-old star entertainment executive was motivated by workplace jealousy and resentment. So he hated the guy's success. He was resentful about his position versus his own. And, and he murdered killed the him? Guy. And he murdered him. It says, Lin hired Zhu in 2017 to help fulfill his dream of making one of China's landmark literary exports, the three-body problem, bingeable for audiences globally. Zhu was tasked with heading the three-body universe, a subsidiary of Lin's company, Yu Zhu, which hovered in various IP rights related to the trilogy, or hoovered up various IP rights. But after the company inked the big Netflix deal, Zhu was sidelined, and he was mad about this, so he started plotting the murder of his boss. Inspired by the TV series Breaking Bad, Zhu tested poisons that he bought on the dark web on small animals. He then gave Lin probiotic pills that contained the fatal substance, which killed him 10 days later, Four other colleagues were also poisoned but survived. That's the what? that's crazy. It's one of the guys behind that series on Netflix. The dude who killed him was inspired by Breaking Bad. And he's like he's ordering poisons off the dark web and that's trying to bizarre man. That's but insane. obviously that guy trusted him enough to take these pills, right? He must have. Yeah, he must have. And other people too, because if you got I'm all these other that. if you guys start off from any sort of probiotics, yeah, trying to I'm, poison me. I'm wary as well, and I'm but a what man are you doing who takes, to keep your nose clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man who takes so many witchcraft-related drugs, you wouldn't even believe it. My, I got to take inside my cabinet a photo these days of how many of like the fish oils and all the different things, the vitamin this and the vitamin that. I'm peeing them all out. I know I am, Is your but pee I feel like, like a, it's a working. weird color. Not really, no. And oh. I feel like I feel more healthy than I ever have. I just got sick last week. And for the first time in my life, I had that, you guys remember when I was sick for just a hot second, I had that sore throat thing, knew I was getting sick, felt it coming on, and my immune system won. My immune system is now one in 426. It's only won one battle 
And that was it. And maybe the witch stuff did it. I don't know. But Courtney got sick after me, obviously from me or her boyfriend. I'm not sure. And as a result, oh, she please. got more sick than I did. She had some dreams about, you know, some stuff last night. I don't oh, know so, what's going on. So you got, you confronted her about it. No, obviously. of course not. Yeah. She does that to me. I don't do that to her. <laughs> she, she decided though. All right. She decided. And, and uh, there's a little bad blood between the two of us right now. I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay. Because afterwards, I had to have a conversation with her about she almost uh, she almost locked me in the studio at Sabrina's request. And and I was like, can't work together anymore. I said, you weren't at the door to tell me, Sabrina said, to lock me in the studio. You were at the door to lock me in the studio. She just looks at me and she goes, I was only going to do it for a little while. <laughs> I was like, what? Great. You, you were really going to do it? How long is a little while? Was... She was like, oh, just a little while. And I was like, what? You, you were uh, And I yelled at poor Austin. So uh, last night she decides it's going to be the perfect night to watch, um, oh, what's it called? What's the uh, uh, American Horror Story? Oh, which, which one? We, the first ser- season. We've never seen any of it before. It's <sighs> a great one. That's and the a, first season is like a freak house? show. It's a freak show one. No. It's like it's all some lady who runs a freak show and that's uh, uh, like season six. Oh really? Oh, that's the one she clicked on. Maybe she was just inspired to start at that one. I thought we were starting at the first one. Freak show is great. Asylum is great. Coven is great. But if uh, you're watching one with the clowns, like based out of Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. but based out of, Ju- out of Jupiter, Florida. So it's kind of cool to see old school Jupiter, Florida, as far as they depicted in this. Yeah, that's the one we were, I thought it was uh, under the impression it was the first season, but that's the one that we're watching. And I guess they keep advertising for the new one, which has Kim Kardashian in it, of all people. I didn't know it, that. I uh, That was the first American Horror Story season that I could not get through. Oh, it wasn't good? Uh, was big surprise. Awful. Yeah. Don't well, doesn't Kim awful. make out with somebody and they're like, oh, her long girl make out with Kim Kardashian. She is such mm. a bad actress. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. But she watched that. We watched two episodes of it last night, and then we went to bed, and she woke up. She's like, I had the worst nightmares. Of course you did. We got to watch some nonsense after this. All right, quick break. I'm rambling. I'm yapping. Uh, we got to get to you. Courtney, go lock the door. Your dispatch. She's on a run. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and back. fire off a dispatch to us right now. When we return, your trip, your vacation can be ruined if you're on a cruise if you just forget to do one thing. And oh boy, was it ruined for these folks, and they deserved every bit of it. What went down? How could this maybe save your cruise vacation? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Tuesday. And for today, we'll see a dry day. Temperatures, though, will be on the hot side with a high of 89 degrees in Orlando. Tomorrow, though, our Wednesday is a Fox 35 Storm Alert Day for the potential of some scattered, strong to severe storms. Most of these look to take place between the hours of 11 a.m. and roughly 6 p.m. We'll expect some heavy rainfall, frequent lightning, and strong wind gusts. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Folks living in Central Florida, it is super important that your air conditioning works perfectly every single time. That's why I strongly suggest you pick up the phone and call Mills Air. They've been in business since 1992. That is over 30 years of experience. You did the math right in keeping Central Florida cool. Their techs are so good, they can service any brand of air conditioning out there, so you don't have to worry about that. From big to small, they they got it. They can help you out, and you're in good hands. They're also a carrier factory authorized dealer, and that means they can get you up to $1,275 in rebates toward a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can always turn to family-owned and operated Mills Air. Give them a call at 407-277-1159 or find them online at millsair.com. Committing to saving for four years of college can be stressful for families. Not to worry. Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. 
The reality is, most parents don't cover all of their child's college costs. A Florida prepaid one-year university plan lets you start small and add a year at a time as your budget allows. The plan starts at just $34 a month, the lowest plan price in 10 years. Remember, any amount you save today means less debt for them tomorrow. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills, a community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. Getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. When you get nachos, tacos, empanadas, spicy queso with jalapenos. Fato Bismol's there. Pepto-Bismol provides fast, effective relief from nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, and diarrhea. All the things that can happen unexpectedly on vacation. So before you travel, pack the Pepto. Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. Hey guys, Chef Justin with Fresh from Florida here, reminding you that Fresh from Florida sweet corn is in season now. And for amazing sweet corn recipes, visit FreshFromFlorida.com. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every bite. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. You're listening to the News Junkie. Proceed towards your undoing. the news. 
newsjunkie.com and hit record on a dispatch to join us on the show. Don't worry about calling and sitting there waiting on the phones. We don't make you do any of that stuff. We bring you right into the show with your dispatches. So send yours at the newsjunkie.com. Now, I wanted to get this out there to the people, all right? Because just in case you're not aware of this, this story is a reminder to all of us. You should be aware of this. And cruise folks in particular, Sabrina's been on a cruise. Celine, you've been on a cruise? Been on two cruises. So. Been all right. You both have been on cruises. You did like, a, what, the 311 one, right, Celine? No. I've never oh. been on one of the one of those uh, concert cruises. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he, he just did a Sorry. one with the, the family for like a, was it a wedding or like a... I did what, I did a, like a joint bachelor bachelorette party cruise. Nice. Yeah. And then like years before that, it was just a party cruise. Right. And the craziest thing is there are a whole world of new rules you should learn if you're going to go on a cruise, right? Mm. Rule number one with a bullet. All right, what is the most important rule one should know whilst on a cruise? What do you think it is? I would say don't um, jump off the cruise boat. Mm. Yeah, don't yeah, go so over that's, the railing. That's a tough one because that is very good advice. It's just not the thing that I had in mind don't necessarily. Don't throw anything oh, off the boat. Mm -hmm, that's one. Uh, how about if you are going to get off the boat for one of the excursions or the stops? to get back um, on the boat in time. Now we're talking. Yes, this this is rule number one. If you are on a cruise vacation, get back on the cruise ship when they tell you to. Not a moment later. Don't go, ah, it'll be fine. They'll wait for us. Everything's okay. No, 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 no. That is not how it works. If you are on a cruise ship, let's say they go to Cozumel, Mexico. If that cruise ship tells you we are disembarking at 4 p.m. and the latest you can be back is 3.30 p.m., you better make sure, come hell or high water, your ass is back on that boat at 3.30 or guess what? They're leaving you in Mexico. Which is just, I mean, I know that that is a rule. I'm very familiar with that. I have seen the horror stories. But it blows my mind that they'll leave your ass mm -hmm. in a different country with yeah, money it's brutal. things. <laughs> it's brutal, but that's what they have to do. They go, look, we have an entire ship full of thousands of people, and what we need to do is make sure that everybody understands if you're not here on time, you're going to be left. There's compilations. I love to watch them. Compilations on people YouTube. People running towards the boat at port. Yes, <laughs> people getting stranded, and they're running and they're screaming at the cruise ship, stop! You know, they're yelling at the cruise ship, and you go, what do you think is going to happen here? You think the giant cruise ship is going to be like, oh, we left Dave and Janet behind. Hold on, behind. back it up. Let's yeah. go in beep, reverse. Beep, beep. No, they're not turning around for you. You're done for. And there was a couple of folks who got so mad and they got stranded by Norwegian Cruise Line. It says, a couple says they were, this kid? Uh, there, was, uh, there was six people, eight people in total, I think. Hold on. A couple says they were stranded on an island after missing their cruise ship's boarding time. They were on a tour of Sao Tome and Principe with six others per U.S. local media. This is in Gambia in Africa. So it's like a, an African island in this tour that they were on. They said that that's they, where they were stuck was Gambia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Jay and Jill Campbell from Garden City, South Carolina. Long way from home, friends. They described their ordeal with the Norwegian cruise line ship in an interview Norwegian confirmed to Business Insider they were denied boarding. They said it was their responsibility to be on time. The they were said denied they were, boarding, so that means the ship was still there? Uh, I don't know. Let's see what if they give any details on that. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold on. The Campbells said they were frequent cruisers embarking on a Norwegian Dawn cruise on March 20th for their third cruise with the cruise line in a year. So, you know, they knew what they were doing. However, an excursion last Wednesday with six other people to this island nation off West Africa took an unfortunate turn. The couple says the tour went late, and the operator informed the captain that eight passengers were running late. They were refused entry to the ship upon their return, even though they could still see the ship from the shore. So they could see the ship pulling away. The ship was anchored, Jay Campbell said, but the captain refused to let them board despite repeated calls and emails by the passengers to the ship in the cruise line's emergency hotline. They said, screw you, 
We're going home. And that and their, sucks, man. Their excuse was, hey, we're on an excursion. But I got a guess here. I'll just throw this guess out there. I absolutely could be wrong. I'm going to guess it wasn't an official excursion from the cruise line. No, but probably not something that they paid the cruise line for. So that's yeah. why they left them yeah. like, oh, you should have done it with us. The, the cruise line's like, we can't guarantee to all these random people who want to do their own random excursions that we're going to wait for everybody to be back. But for what? our for our verified excursions, if the Norwegian Cruise Line verified excursion runs late, well, we're going to wait for you, right? Oh, that's you know? fine, yeah. If weather um, comes into play or if there's, I, I think during one of the Virgin Voyages, they didn't go to Key West for one of the mm-hmm. trips because there was protests. And they have no problem changing that schedule. Right. But you have 10 passengers that so you're just going to leave somewhere. They're brutal. That's crappy, man. They're brutal about this. And the reason they do it, I really think, is to sell those official excursions. Like, uh, Yeah, go ahead. You know, I could, I could picture the captain of the ship. Go ahead. Book one of those excursions. You know, good luck to you. I hope everything works out right. You know, I hope you make it back on the ship in time because God knows if you don't. And on the other hand, our official excursions are sanctioned by the ship, so we'll wait for you. Alicia on YouTube says, unless you're late due to the fault of the people running the excursion you're on, then there's zero excuse for your irresponsible ass to not get back on the ship in time. Well, I think it might have been even the fault of the people running the excursion. But, but it doesn't matter. The official excursion. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's just some randos. Like, for instance, if you lived in... Um, Let's say you lived in, in Cozumel, Mexico. I'll bring that up as an example again. If you live there, nothing stops you from doing a tour of your own, uh, aside from local regulations or whatever. Oh, you I've, do... I've done, like, a day excursion without actually being on a cruise. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Like, you tour with these people, and they show you a place. It's cool. It's fun. But those folks who just do it on their own or, or start their own company uh, who aren't affiliated with the cruise ship, you know, there's big risk there. And now we're seeing it and you get left behind in Gambia. So I don't know. Good luck getting back to South Carolina. I imagine you'd have to hop a flight probably uh, over to somewhere in the middle East and then somewhere in Europe and then back to the United States of America and a uh, long, long day ahead of them if they wanted to get, get back your home. stuff back? Oh, man. I don't even right? know how that works because it's all stuck in your room. You know, like I was all on board that ship. And good luck. That's that's that a tough sucks, one. I, I would be curious about, A, how to get your stuff back. But also, because, I mean, does that mean somebody has to, like, pack your bags mm-hmm. when they go through and clean your room? Or they just throwing all your crap away? Yeah. But I, I, I would wonder if I'm on... If, I don't know how often the, this uh, ship sails to Gambia and how many uh, of their ships, you know, are going back and forth. But if I'm on Royal Caribbean, I get stuck in Nassau. Isn't there another Royal Caribbean ship showing up soon? <laughs> it's fine. Like, wait, wait, just how much do I have to uh-huh. pay? You know, how much, you know, would can you give me some sort of transfer fee to just hop yeah. on? Like, get, get one of those empty rooms. I'll pay for another alcohol package. I deserve it. It's not nearly as bad if you are somewhere in the Caribbean, I don't think, as to where they are off the coast of Africa. Just well, especially because cause you can fly home cheap, too. I mean, yeah. there's airports there. It's tough. That's a difficult journey, and I would you guess. you have your passport, I uh, suppose. Oh, uh, yeah. You have to have it in order to come back on the ship, I'm pretty sure. Even when you're at doing, like, if you're at a port of call? No, have not like that. There? But with port of call, I think that because it's their island... But uh-huh. they make sure everybody, like, they have ways right. to radio someone back on the island to make sure that their all their passengers are back. So if you're at, like, the Royal Caribbean Island, no big okay. deal. Okay. But, but if you're in um, Sao Paulo, Brazil, then you're probably going to have to, like, have some sort of identification and, and have your And then you show up to that airport with no bags. Oh, it's like, oh, man. right, this is sketchy. <laughs> this is what they taught us in TSA school yeah. to look out well, for. I'll take a one-way flight, please. I've got no baggage. That that's a that's a tough look right there. And that a does shirt. not look great. No, thank yeah. you. All right, folks. Uh, if you this is uh, another solicit for you because yesterday we solicited for Jesus from Holy Land and we got him. Uh, we, we got, got Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is um, uh, uh, Jesus is just all right. <sighs> no, <laughs> he's I. Jesus is a, a hair salon person. Um, the person who cuts Jesus's hair. Wait. Is uh, is lis- a listener of the show? Uh, oh, so it's not actual Jesus. It's just someone no. who's touched 
um, you know, our Lord and Savior's <laughs> locks. No, no, we're not going to interview the hairstylist for Jesus. That's what you just made it sound like, man. No, no. those are some saying, stories. The person that is Jesus's hairstylist listens to the show religiously and told Jesus we were looking for him. Oh, and God. then Jesus emailed and said, I hear you are looking for me. And I said, we got Jesus questions. And so we're talking to Jesus today. All right. All right. He doesn't answer so, prayers, but he'll answer uh, a radio call out. I like now, it. Now, now the call out, if you've ever been on a cruise ship and you were abandoned by the ship at, at a port, I would love to hear from you. That's a story I want, okay? If you ever miss the cruise ship, you're running back to the cruise ship, trying to make it back in time, and you get abandoned, I want to know that story. Hit me up, tips at the newsjunkie.com, tips at the newsjunkie.com. When we return, using AI to plan a vacation is not a great idea. Plus, those twins, well, more than twins, they're conjoined twins, and we heard that they just got married not too long ago. Now, bad news for the couple. What's going on? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. There's slowdowns on I-4 eastbound before U.S. 27 and after State Road 429. An accident partially blocking the right lane on I-4 eastbound approaching Central Florida Parkway. The off-ramp from State Road 408 eastbound to Bumby Avenue is partially blocked. And authorities are working on an accident on Sand Lake Road westbound at I-4. If you see traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Orlando Magic Pod Squad is the Orlando Magic's flagship podcast featuring interviews with Magic players, coaches, executives, and legends. Join me, Dante Marcatelli, along with the rotating cast of Magic personalities every Thursday during the season as we conduct deep dive interviews with Magic A-listers. This podcast is a must-listen for any Orlando Magic fan. Join the squad with the Orlando Magic Pod Squad on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The best way to fight inflation is to grow your money more quickly. That's why I want to tell you about my good friends at Suncoast Credit Union, where you can earn 5% annual percentage yield on a regular 12-month share certificate or 5.25% on a jumbo certificate. With three Central Florida locations, Suncoast is your local and loyal credit union. It makes it simple to get a share certificate to fit your needs. Visit any of their new locations on South Cimarron, South Orange Blossom, or the Loop in Kissimmee, or just go to suncoastcreditunion.com to learn more. And remember, with Suncoast, you Always get more love and less fees. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. If you need new windows or doors for your home, heads up, this message is for you. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off high-performance award-winning windows, 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors, 40% off our factory direct products installed. Bring in your measurements for on-the-spot pricing or call today. One day only, this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When we made our McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, you were praise hands emoji. Then we ran out and you were streaming tears emoji. 
Now they're back, so you can be grinning face with sweat emoji. Order ahead on the McDonald's app. Spicy Chicken McNuggets are back for a hot minute at McDonald's. Now get 20% off any purchase of $5 or more when you order in the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Offer valid through April 21st, 2024 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Most often to rewards. Exclusive tax. Introducing Tanside Stone Tile Flooring. A game changer in the tile industry. Say goodbye to the trade-off between durability and easy installation with Tanzite's revolutionary indoor-outdoor stone tile. Visit Tanzite.com to see how our tile is installed without concrete or mortar. Instead, our innovative rubber gasket system connects the tiles together. Each tile coming pre-assembled, you simply grab one and place it. No expertise needed. At Tanzite.com, you can see how our foam back tiles contour to cover any existing floor while insulating against sound and cold. Beautiful and versatile, Tanzite tile adapts to indoor or outdoor use. From kitchens to patios on concrete basements or wooden decks. All with the durability of stone that's guaranteed for life. Witness this innovative product yourself and order a sample today at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E dot com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Nervous about investing in college savings right now? Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. Our 529 prepaid plans are 100% risk-free because they're backed by the state of Florida, so you can never lose your investment. And now, prepaid plans start at just $34 a month. Open enrollment only happens once a year, so don't miss your chance to lock in the lowest prepaid plan prices in 10 years. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. In this week's Marketer's Report, Angela Zapeda, CMO Hyundai Motor America, talks about audio storytelling. People scratch their heads and say, why would you put your brand on a channel that doesn't show the sheet metal? But for us, it's about storytelling. That's driving a lot of brand awareness, but we can also drive a lot of intent. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the influencers, audiences, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. Turns out it's a very bad idea. Also, an update on those conjoined twins that got married and their awkward situation. I've seen a couple of viral tweets go out there where it's like, hey, this is Abby Hensel. I'm one of the conjoined twins, and I'm just tweeting some answers to some commonly asked questions about our relationship. Uh, we both get orgasms at the same time. And, like, you know, one of us likes it and the other one is not super duper into it and closes her eyes when we when we do this and that and and it's all fake. There's a bunch, there's like tons of fake tweets and stuff from accounts that have nothing to do with these conjoined twins. They're not on Twitter. It might shock you to hear that, but no, they're they're not. It turns out. 
Um, we'll get to that in a moment. But first, I want to talk about Angie Harmon, which, if you're not aware, Angie Harmon was on Law & Order. Uh, she was on yeah, she Rizzoli was, and Isles. She's hot. She's a model. Yeah. And I think she was like 90s, 2000s and stuff is when she was really more in the spotlight than at the moment right now. But Angie Harmon's a name that some people would know, and they would know Angie Harmon from modeling, and they would know her from acting. And now they're going to know her from her anger at Instacart. And she says that an Instacart driver shot and killed her dog. What? And this is one of those stories. Like, I've gotten good enough at this over a long time of, of looking at news stories where you got to wait for the rest of this, right? You got to wait for TWS, the whole story. You got to wait for the other shoe to drop, so to speak. And I just know that there's an almost 0% chance that there's some dude out there. She says his name is Merle. And Merle is just showing up at Instacart deliveries, and he's like, all right, I'm going to drop these uh, th this uh, IHOP off, or I'm going to drop these groceries off that I got for you. Here goes nothing. Oh, no, we have to, got a dog here. I'm just going to kill that. Like, there's a 0% chance that's that, that's the case. However, Merle looks like a murderous jackass right now because actress and model Angie Harmon says she and her family are heartbroken and traumatized after an Instacart delivery driver fatally shot one of their dogs. The shooting took place after the driver dropped off their order at their North Carolina home on Saturday. They said their ring doorbell camera was charging inside. Isn't that convenient in the worst kind of way? Uh, police were called to the scene, but confirmed to Fox I'm News. I'm sorry, Angie Harmon needs to charge her ring doorbell camera? Yeah, she's got to get it back up and running. She doesn't have it directly plugged in, man. She's only got the one that's on outside with the battery. <sighs> police Gosh. were called to the scene but confirmed to Fox that no charges were filed. The man told him the dog had attacked and he shot in self-defense. According to Harmon, however, the man did not have a scratch or bite on him, nor were his pants torn, she said. Well, uh -huh. yeah, maybe that's yeah, he because he shot the dog. <laughs> he got the dog in time. Yeah. <laughs> the bullet worked. <laughs> if, if he was a little slower, he might have a rip on his jeans. They said the Law & Order star says the driver was shopping under the profile named Merle with a woman as his profile picture. Not uncommon, by the way, that people who are doing delivery or doing these kind of things are utilizing a profile very different from their own. I've seen different cars. Yeah, you're not supposed to. That's a little sketchy. You're I no, don't, you're I not. don't love when that happens or when they show up with the wrong car. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Yeah. Or they said it's on a bike, but I guess that allows them to pick up more than one delivery. Yeah, but you see it happen, right? Like, I mean, everybody's seen, like, it I, says a, a woman's coming to your door, and you look at the security footage, and you're like, oh, yeah. it's a guy. What the I, hell's going on there? I think uh, in that case, sometimes it's a guy who's worried about his significant other and so drives around with her, so she still gets her Instacarts done, but she feels mm -hmm. a little safer. Um, I, I, I don't mind it if it's, if it's a delivery that's happening, but if mm -hmm. I'm getting picked up, and if I'm getting picked up in a, a silver sedan, and up up drives like a black SUV. I'm like, mm, what's going on here, guys? What's what's yeah. happening? I'll get in the car still, but I'll be sus the whole time. Mm. I, I also heard somebody say the other day, they said, when you're getting into an Uber, don't ask the person if they're an Uber driver. Look at the app and go, are you James? You know, like it says the person's name on, on the Uber app. And yeah. they go, the proper introduction is to say like, hey, are you James? They'll go, yeah, I just... And I, I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> I want to be clear your name. I want to be clear that it's not only just a James, but also that it's the Uber driver. That no, I ordered. no. <laughs> what, the, what they're saying is don't um, don't offer up the information first that you're looking for an Uber driver or somebody who might want to abduct you goes. That's me, Uber driver. That's but couldn't, a party. They just, uh, well, couldn't they just go, that's a me, James? And you hop in the car, and then James cuts you up to 815 pieces. I feel like it could happen to you. I feel like he's not James then. <laughs> he may have been lying. Merle may have as well. well also, I mean, probably 90% of the time I get an Uber, like I open the door, like, hello. And they're like, Chris? And I'm like, oh, yep, mm. all right. Yeah, Sea Witch on YouTube says, wrong. You could say, can I get your name to be sure they're really from Uber? That's one way to do it, I guess, right? Like, check with them because you can look down at your phone and you're like, well, what's your name, bud? And when they say the right name back, you go, all right, you know, confirmed some sort of identity here. That works, I think. That'll, that'll do for you. 
Uh, in this case, she says, he shot our dog with my daughters and myself at home and just kept saying, yep, I shot your dog. Yeah, I did. We are completely traumatized and beyond devastated at the loss of our beloved boy and family members, she wrote on Instagram. I mean, that sucks. The dog, Oliver, was a German Shepherd Beagle mix. Instacart says it immediately suspended the shopper after hearing about the incident, adding that it has no tolerance for violence of any kind and is cooperating with the investigation. So they're looking into to what happened here. My gut tells me Angie Harmon just got a dog running around her property, and uh, the dog runs around, and then you got somebody delivering stuff, and you can't do that. You, you, you have to, like, you have to be a good pet owner at all times. If you have a dog that just kind of wanders around your yard and you've ordered something from somebody to pick it up there and you know that your dog is not just going to go over and uh, lay in the prone position and be pet by the delivery driver, but maybe we'll get a little aggressive, then what do you think is going to happen? I seriously doubt this guy was just like, there's a dog, bam, and just started shooting at the animal. And more likely, the animal might have been getting a little bit aggressive with the dude but he did shoot before there was any biting going on. He just said, forget exactly. this. Exactly. I'm going to make this. I'm going to cut this off early. I wonder if there is uh, a gun policy with Instacart, because at least with Uber and Lyft, they technically prohibit their drivers mm-hmm. from having a loaded gun in the car while they're operating the um uh, while they're operating the app, while they're while they're driving for yeah. the for the service. However, there's some lawyers that argue like. They're not breaking the law. You can't override the law. Right. Of course. And, and I'll tell you. You're not, you're not on Uber property. If I had particular jobs, I would have a gun 100%. I don't even know if you're allowed to when you work for USPS. I don't know if you're allowed to carry a gun with you. I think it's just mace. You, you might only be able to have non-lethal things. But I would want to have a gun with me. I would want one. Because the, the animals that you encounter sometimes are aggressive, violent yeah. animals. For people, people who are... Even the I mean, people the, sometimes. The people, uh, my uh, guy that And I you're knew. going on their property, right? Like, you're... There's yeah. no worse thing than a dumb person with a gun who's like, what are you doing on my property? And you go, oh, me in the mail truck with the mail outfit on carrying a package up to your door? I'm here for a reason, perhaps. That kind of stuff happens. Also, like if, if you know, if you decide that despite your uh, employer saying that you can't have a weapon, but you want to have it on your, you know, you want to have it anyway for your protection, and you protect yourself, and the worst thing that happens is you get fired, uh, you know, you still survived it, right? Yeah, you know, you know, you know it's kind of dark. I, I knew somebody that uh, was a cab driver and was not supposed to carry a gun, yeah, and uh, still did. And he still got shot. And I, th- I think people think about animals like they think about hobos sometimes. Like there's no bad animal; they're all just sweet little things. And some somebody just was trigger happy, and they went and they got a little scared of the dog, and they pulled the trigger. And if you live in that world, I think that you haven't experienced enough of just like driving around, especially to a little more off the grid places, and seeing how people are with their dogs. In the acreage, it was ingrained deeply in me to be very aware of dogs. It was commonplace for me to ride my bike down a street, have some idiot who has a fully fenced-in yard with the front gate completely wide open and big dogs, pit bulls, whatever they are, and you drive your bike, you ride your bike down that street, and those dogs come beelining for you as fast as they can. And now you got to try to outrun a dog on a bike, and that's not easy. And you, you're wondering, what happens if I stop right now? What happens if this dog gets a hold of me? That is a common occurrence in these areas like this. These delivery drivers, whether they be for Instacart or DoorDash or USPS or FedEx, they encounter this stuff way more than you think. So I'd be interested to hear more. It's so easy on the other side to be like, they killed my dog. Well, why? What happened before that? We don't have any footage, so we can't see that, but at least... You know, let's get some other sides of the story here and give us know, the details. Like, physical evidence on the guy. There's well, there's nothing. That would be like, like oh, a, a, a sure um, piece of the puzzle here if he had bite marks on him. Yeah, but let's say it's you and you're at somebody's house and there's big mean dog. All right, we're not even gonna we're not gonna call out a breed because people get mad. Like, that breed's a very nice breed, Sean. All right, with big mean it's dog, a pit bull, big mean pit bull dog is at this house. And you're just trying to deliver your package, your Instacart package, to the people who ordered it. And Big Mean Dog 
is not just showing its teeth, you know, and the dog is full speed headed for you and viciously coming at you. I don't know that I'm going to sit there and wait for the dog to bite me before I get my ass back in the car. I throw the things and I run away. Yeah, maybe Kick if you can make it back the to the car. I'm going to whip out a gun and shoot it? Absolutely not. Me, Sabrina? No. There's no uh, I way. Would. I, would. I would definitely. Yeah. I w- I'm not trying to say like to be like a, a tough guy or something. I just, if I have well, if if really. At the, the difference between Sean and Sabrina right now, Sean already has a body count when it comes to dogs. So <laughs> That was unintentional. I don't want to kill dogs. <laughs> now, I love do we dogs. know that for sure? Yes, I love my dogs so much. I love animals. I am an animal lover to my core. Other people's dogs, my dogs, I pet dogs everywhere I see them, okay? And I love that. But I'm not going to sit there and, like, wait till the dog bites me and be like, oh, it's on now, buddy, if I can't get back to my car. Like, of course I'm going to do all the rational things. I'm three feet from my car. The dog is running towards me. Well, I'll just jump back in the car. I'm good. But let's say you're not. Let's say you're uh, 20 yards from the car. The dog's definitely going to get to you before you get to the dog. Do you try to pull out the pepper spray and see if that starts the, the dog uh, on, a, on a track of not being violent towards you? throw that head of lettuce I'm delivering right at its face. There's a lot of things that happen. And, uh, again, let's open this up for somebody who's in that gig because I know you've had these experiences. And you get stuck and you're like, how do I react? How do I protect myself with a violent animal that I'm delivering to this house? Um, or at the house where I'm delivering. Let me know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and record a dispatch for us right now. Millen Surfer on Twitch says, I was bitten when I delivered for the pharmacy a few years ago, and the note said, nice dogs. They were Labradoodles. Oh, anything in the poodle family. Uh, They drew blood on my knee, says Millen Surfer. That poodle family will get you. They're big big biting dogs. People sleep on those in terms of the fear level because you think, what's a poodle going to do? But they get angry, and they bite for sure. Uh, When I deliver, says All Day Yuckers, the owners always have their dogs inside only because they just don't want them escaping. That's the case 99% of the time, I would guess. But that's not what you're worried about. You're worried about the 1% of idiots, bad pet owners, and the people who afterwards would be like, he killed my dog. How could he do this? I just don't understand why sometimes we see these these situations play out. We always blame the person who ended up having to shoot the dog, and I think they have to sometimes. Right, let's go to you. Let's work in a couple of dispatches very quickly. We also have to get to what happened in um, in Gaza with World Central Kitchen at some point in time, a great charity by Jose Andres, and just a horrific thing unfolding right now with six, I believe, of the workers for this great charity organization. That's going to be a problem moving forward. So we'll get into the ins and outs of that. But right now, you, and let's see what we got. Here's Hot Cancun Days, Sexy Summer Nights with a Dispatch. So as a lifelong delivery guy from UPS to uh, food to fuel now, um, I always carry wasp spray and a pocket knife. Wasp and, spray. Uh, wasp spray is for dogs and people as well. So, yeah, you got to gotta have some on you. Oh, you spray a person with some wasp oh, yeah. spray. That has Ooh. been uh, a suggested go-to if you don't have, like, actual mace or pepper spray. More than bear spray? Wasp spray is like... Wasp spray because it does that foam as well. Oh. And it will not only, like, completely disable the person who's attacking you, but they're covered in this white foam that uh, is uh, very adhesive uh, mm-hmm. because it's supposed to be on a nest. So yeah. they, you know, try to get away from you or... Police are searching for him, and it's that that guy with all not, the hey, white stuff in his hair. Not, not that I care that much, but does it hurt the person if it's wasp spray or wasp spray? I mean, is it like I think if you get it in their eyes, probably right. I, don't I know guess if it's it all kind of, but it'll all, all, definitely all, sting them. But all of it hurts the person to a certain extent, right? Like you know, it's not good to get maced or to get uh, pepper sprayed. Or if the bear spray stuff is, you know, I don't know, maybe that's just stronger or something. I, I don't know. Clear that up for us if you can. Go to thenewsjunkie.com, just like D Browning, who's talking to us. Hello? What's up, News Junkies? My name's Dave, and as of today, I've lost 100 pounds. Oh, nice. On February 1st, 2023, I was 282.1 pounds. And this morning at 4.30, I weighed myself, and I was 182.1 pounds. Time to have a cake. 
<laughs> yeah, celebrate. I uh, got any of Zempies? What you got in the system? What are you using to How fight that way? How long ago was way? it? A year ago? Yeah, one year since February 1st, 2023. So a year and some change. He's lost 100 pounds. That could be natural. That's a longer time span that he's uh, lost that in. Uh, and I've never got a, a good answer on this. I don't know if anybody knows this. But uh, so I watch a lot of shows where people uh, like Courtney always wants to watch the botched shows. And let's say somebody needs to lose like 200 pounds. Okay. If you lose 200 pounds, you can end up with all that extra skin. You know how that becomes oh, yeah. problematic for people. If you lose the weight very slow as opposed to losing the weight really fast. Does it like slowly constrict your skin in so you don't have that loose skin problem? You'll or... still have loose skin. No I matter mean, what. It's been so stretched out that mm. you'll, you're still going to have it. I've, I've lost a big amount of weight before and never really felt like, oh, look, I got a bunch of extra skin. Weird. Yeah, I mean, I have people I, who have, have twins, you know, that don't necessarily deal with uh, being overweight, but have uh, very big bellies for nine months at a time. Mm -hmm. That that skin stays on because it's been stretched out for so long. Yeah, I mean, it just makes older. sense. Your body can only take so much. It's a lot like it's a lot of moving around, stretching here and there. You got a new belly so, button, though. If anybody's ever done that very slowly, like if you just like one pound a, uh, a week, that's too slow. One no one pound a week could work. One pound a week, slowly take that. Fifty two pounds in a year. Because uh, I I was like, is this a hack? Is this like you just got to really slowly lose the weight, and then you don't end up with all that extra skin? Let us know. Go to the newsjunkie dot com and send us a dispatch right now. Now oh. stretch marks is something that I, I I had like when I was younger, but the the extra skin thing I never really felt like like oh I got to deal with that. Let's Can you get those blasted away? Stretch marks? stretch marks? Yeah. I had a cream for them, like for some dermatologist. I mean, really? as, as a woman, I feel like I'm always going to have them. Yeah, always I a think, thing. Well, doesn't everybody have them? Is, uh, are women more likely to have stretch marks, or is it from the pregnancy side of things that they're more likely to have stretch marks? I mean, I haven't been pregnant, and I have them. So it's I just from growing and fluctuating in weight in the last, you know, few years of my adult life that honestly, they're there. What? I don't even know if I have stretch marks or not. I don't know. What am I looking for? Well, pull up for? your shirt. Let's see. <laughs> it would be a no, thing in your, in your stomach. <laughs> you guys are going to do that thing? I'll, I'll take my shirt off at the studio, and you guys get laser pointers. Not that the technology works this way, but yeah. you understand Through what I'm saying. Through the camera. Got it. <laughs> and you just you show me where all the bad spots are. Uh, quick break. We got to get caught up on things. We do have the next I episode. I have a wide enough laser pointer for that. Shut your mouth. We do have uh, this story about using AI to plan your vacation, and we got a whole lot more, including the update on the can join twins it's coming up next to the news junkie you know you can always text us unless you're driving at 77031 standard data and message rates apply real mobile is powered by orange buick gmc and orange buick gmc.com we are professional grade there's a bit of commotion this afternoon, a couple accidents to watch out for. The on-ramp from Princeton Street to I-4 eastbound is partially blocked. Two left lanes are blocked on Colonial Drive eastbound between Blueford Avenue and Clark Road. The off-ramp is partially blocked from State Road 408 to Bumby Avenue. Travel with caution in these areas. If you see traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Hey, everyone. I'm Dante Marcatelli. And I'm Jake Chapman. We're the hosts of Magic Drive Time, the only daily audio fix for Orlando Magic fans. And actually, I just realized this, Jake, one of the longest running sports stock shows in Orlando. We've been at it for 13 seasons. How is that possible? Oh, wow. That's good stuff, Dante. And that's exactly what you'll get on Magic Drive Time each day. It's your touchstone for the latest Magic news, game previews and reviews. We've got more stats and notes than we know what to do with. Listen to Magic Drive Time on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Garcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scott Sully took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. 
Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story, and so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. The Big Take from Bloomberg News brings you what's shaping the world's economies with the smartest and best-informed business reporters around the world. We cover the stories behind what's moving money in markets and help you understand what's happening, what it means, and why it matters every afternoon. I'm Sarah Holder. I'm Saleh Mosin. And I'm David Gura. Listen to The Big Take on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Big Take. New South Window Solutions, made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. He won't hesitate to call you out when you're being a little ASCII. This is the... In West Palm Beach, we love you, and it's a glorious day, hopefully, hopefully, in the neighborhood as we push into spring. Hello to all our friends here in Orlando, our friends in Rochester, New York, and Dallas, Texas, and every other station where you tune in to this great radio show. We appreciate you more than ever on a Share the Show Tuesday. Tips at thenewsjunkie.com and Kim emails. She says, what's going on with Spotify? You haven't posted a show since March 22nd. I have a paid Spotify account. Is there another platform that plays your podcast with no commercials, says Kim. Uh, Kim, uh, certainly there are many platforms that play the podcast. Anywhere where you can get a podcast, you can get this podcast. The problem is we don't control Spotify. They got weird stuff going on over there. And 
I have alerted the people who I'm supposed to alert. I have said, guys, I'm getting lots of emails. People who listen to the podcast on Spotify say it's not updated. I don't think it's our problem. I know that it's updated on iHeartRadio. I know that it's updated on thenewsjunkie.com, and those are the places where you should go. If you don't see a, a podcast for even one day, I don't care where you subscribe. Like, subscribe however you want. But if one day goes by and you miss, double-check at thenewsjunkie.com to make sure everything's working the right way, right? Now, here's the thing, though. Kim doesn't think we posted a show in that long, so she emails you. Did you email mm-hmm. her back? I, I did, yes. Yeah, uh, I said, I said uh, just a heads up. I said, well, I don't know what's going on with Spotify, but... Always go to thenewsjunkie.com or iHeartRadio to subscribe to get All right, the latest. perfect. Welcome back, Kim. Yeah, so she said, thank you. I heard you just say that on the podcast now. So she must have found <laughs> a way to listen in the meantime. Uh, nobody emails to tips at thenewsjunkie.com. Subject, Black Jesus, because we were talking about Jesus yesterday. It says, when I was younger, I played Jesus in the Stations of the Cross, which was what we talked about yesterday. Sabrina was mentioning this. Although a lot of people loved the play, there were a lot of people in the church who absolutely hated the play. Why? Because I was black, he said. That was back in the year 2000. We were the only black family in the church in Eustis that we went to. The Mount Dora Catholic Church refused to have the play at their church. They made uh, they felt me being black was too controversial. I don't go to church anymore. Just a bunch of hypocrites, says nobody well, thank you for the email. Nobody times hopefully have changed a little bit more. We got Black I don't Santa like Claus calling out there. Nobody. That's I the guy's name. I, I mean, look, I would even show you the email. I, no, I'm not going to show you the email because that would that would expose the email address. But you, you know what I'm saying? It says nobody. Mm. That's what it says on the actual email itself. Um, I got this too. Let's see. I want to play this because maybe it's going to be good. Maybe it's going to be bad. I just I don't know honestly. Fez says because today's a here comes the cicada day. He's got a song for us. Oh, uh-huh. quick flip. So, might be good, might be bad. No guarantees on this. Here goes nothing. Hello? Oh, hang on. I got to bring this back here. I want to make sure I don't screw up Fez's opportunity to get the song out. You know, sick does fly. We all just wish they would die. They've been here before, and you know they're coming again. Here come the cicadas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're coming to get us. Murder em. Better bring out your earplugs. Murder em. Is there no like that? Oh, God. Would they go in your ears? No, I but they, 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 they make a noise. They're like, oh, they're buzzy. okay. All right. Like okay. In your hair yeah. or something. In your mouth yeah, that, if you have it open. That noise, like, of, of think about like a million cicadas. Like that, you know, that's, that's torture. That sounds like a way to torture people to me. Like Guantanamo remember, Bay. Remember that year uh, that the World Cup, they had all the Vuvuzelas? Oh, my God, yeah. And it was a big controversy. I take Vuvuz over cicadas all day. I think so. But I, yeah. think, but I think, you know, that's what it is, kind of what the sound is, right? We're just doing the Vuvuzelas, but it's actual animals. We got something like that in our neighborhood, but I don't know what it is that's making the noise. It's like at, at dusk. Every day at dusk, it's like... You know, some some bug in the tree. Like that. Yeah. Cicada. That's Maybe that it is. is. You got like full time cicadas because it's not it's not like a, a quarterly thing. Or like they a, hold you know, down the fort until the you know underground babies are born or something. It's like one left over. Uh I guess. I don't know. Whatever it is, they are allowed for like an hour a day and we just uh, muscle right through them. Here is, let's see, we've got a lot of folks joining in today. Let's try this one. Here's Guitar Slinger talking about wasp spray. Yeah, I used to keep a can of wasp spray in the truck, and I was driving home from a gig late night in a bad section of town, and I had my window cracked like an idiot because I was smoking. Mm-hmm. These two guys came up and reached in through the window and tried to grab me. One of them was pulling a knife, and I had the can of wasp spray. What? I sprayed it in the guy's face, and he opened his mouth, and I dumped about a third of the can down his throat, Whoa. and he hit the deck. He didn't get back up. I didn't look back twice. I hauled butt. Yeah, I would have done the same. Just never look back. That never. guy turned into a human-sized cicada. <laughs> he might have. Some sort of weird, evil villain. And thank you, Guitar Slinger. Appreciate your comments. Rhino Love's talking about that saggy skin. Hey there. I have lost 65 Same. pounds over the last eight to ten months during three rounds of keto so six weeks six weeks six weeks and i still have lots of loose skin but i'm older so maybe the young people can do it i don't know 
All right. Thank you, Rhonda Love. She says saggy skin is in. So uh, just uh, just know good that. good for flying. Right? If you got a little extra saggy skin, folks, just be confident in that, I guess. Um, very quickly, the, uh, the the twins that we were talking about, Abby Hansel and her twin, uh, B- 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 Brittany Hansel, Hansel, they were once in a reality series on TLC. We found out that an army medic by the name of Joshua Bowling, 34 years old, had married one of them, Abby Hansel. And, and you know, in turn, when you marry one of the Hensels, you marry the other Hensel, right? It's, it's, a, it's a package deal Bogo. on account of the conjoined twins and all that stuff. Well, some odd news in their world as we learned of this wedding. We also learned that there is an ex-wife of the Army veteran that is filing a paternity case against Joshua and another respondent. They don't know who the father is exactly. So they want a genetic test. Now's the time to do that? Now's the time to do it. Figure out who the dad is, Jerry Springer style. She's filing this suit against multiple dudes? Yep, Joshua Bowling and another guy, Gavin Vat. Vattensdahl. Vattensdahl is the other person. One of them is the daddy, and we're not sure who is just yet. All right, when Can we, we bring come back, to Maury? We could. The next episode with Sabrina. What's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up on the next episode? Oh, Ashton Kutcher seems to be going from punk to pal of celebrity predators. Baby, if you're born to run from school, then uh, Bruce Springsteen will vouch for you. Plus, a recap of the iHeartRadio Awards and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson. With a check of your forecast for the rest of our Tuesday and temperatures will continue to climb throughout this afternoon with highs in the upper 80s and a high of 89 degrees in Orlando. Tomorrow though is when a cold front arrives bringing with it some big changes which is why we have issued tomorrow as a Fox 35 Storm Alert Day. Scattered strong storms are possible right around midday into the late afternoon so roughly 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. for strong winds and frequent lightning. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Savings. Now that's speaking the Lowe's language. And with my Lowe's rewards, your savings just keep coming with members only offers. Learn more about their new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash my Lowe's rewards. Subject to terms and conditions, see Lowe's.com slash terms for details. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call mo mo to win orlando's injury attorneys the number one cause of accidents is distracted driving like cell phones eating and playing with the radio so leave it right here on real radio injured on the go just call mo.com mo to win orlando's injury attorney if spring allergies keep you trapped inside then you need navaj nasal care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. 
Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Committing to saving for four years of college can be stressful for families. Not to worry. Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. The reality is most parents don't cover all of their child's college costs. A Florida prepaid one-year university plan lets you start small and add a year at a time as your budget allows. The plan starts at just $34 a month, the lowest plan price in 10 years. Remember, any amount you save today means less debt for them tomorrow. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. When you get nachos, tacos, empanadas, spicy queso with jalapenos, Pepto Bismol's there. Pepto-Bismol provides fast, effective relief from nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, and diarrhea. All the things that can happen unexpectedly on vacation. So before you travel, pack the Pepto. Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. Is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. They're best friends. Unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? the world of uh, entertainment and beyond and uh sabrina how are you feeling with your new adult schedule today you know you tried breakfast this morning you're trying Uh, to be right now there's a little devil on my shoulder it's like you need a nappy yeah take a little nap nappy soon you can't you got you got double duty today i know another show i'm gonna get i'm gonna slam a red bull and just you know keep it going man or 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 a Celsius. You could always go that route. They actually, they have Celsius in the fourth uh, floor kitchen. Well, I'm not going to put that on the Jim Colbert show. Yeah. yeah. I think that's Those, a bad move. I don't know. fire you up, though. All right, let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV, and you can't possibly keep up with all of it, even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? E- Nothing. <laughs> Weather's nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey, smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. Hold up is right, because if you're refinancing, buying your first dream home, perhaps you're looking into some of those commercial loans, and you got to work with that mortgage guy, Don. Go to that mortgageguydon.com and get the process started today with an expert and a friend that you can trust. Don't miss the boat, compare your quote with that mortgage guy, Don.com. It was a mere 35 years ago. Sean, you must remember this. I was quite young. About oh. 1989, Wait. the Mega Powers exploded at WrestleMania 5. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was Hulk Hogan and this guy battling head to head. Oh, yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage. Two points. Yeah, Randy Savage fought for the WWF title and for Miss Elizabeth's heart. And Hogan won both, brother. All right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Wrestling promo he must backfired. He lozenge before he says that. And he continues to win because Elizabeth and Randy are both dead. Oh. And he lives to tell the tale. And so do all the people that were at the big award show last night. We're talking about the iHeartRadio Music Awards. It was so good. I got to tell you, I watched. 
I did. I watched all of it, supporting my company. And then mm-hmm. every time uh, they were showing like snippets of of our, our brethren talking about the artists that are up for awards, and I'm like, that's my coworker. Baby. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, who are the people? They had, they had radio people that were introducing stuff. Yeah, they had Bobby Bones, Charlemagne the God, Big Boy. You know the okay. people that um, have no idea who we are, but they are had, like they're under uh, they're in the system just like we are. They had some like sizzle reels to intro some of the awards, and it was like different um, shows like in studio talking about the people that we're about to they're they're, they're about to honor. So why do we, we get no right? love? Um, we get no love in this because, every single time. Because they this is the clip. It's you complaining why we don't get love. If we if we nail this thing mm. right now, maybe they'll use it next year or something. Oh boy. The 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. I was just looking at it under- from from nerd eyes. I was like that guy still has an instant replay. That's weird. He just it, ruined your promo. You really were trying did. to get us in the in the awards, and he just stomped on you. Uh, who else was doing some stomping? Um, stomping, rather, it was Taylor Swift. I mean, just mm. swept it. Didn't what? Even... We, we got we got Taylor Swift at our awards show. That's pretty <laughs> she good. She didn't show up. She didn't go. She's oh, uh, she did. She, she left a video, but she did win uh, Pop Artist of the Year, Artist of the Year. Uh, also, I believe it was Best Tour of the Year. Um, I will say that Jelly Roll, I, I didn't know too much about him. Mm-hmm. They did his backstory before he performed, and then he also won Best New Artist in Country. What's his deal? What a cutie What's pie. The, uh, g- oh, give me the rundown. Incarcerated since he was like 14, mm-hmm. got into a lot of trouble, and then after um, a recent stint in prison, found out he had a daughter, knew he had to change his life, so he started writing a lot, All and right. then someone uh, gave him the chance. I think it was, I mean, he uploaded something to YouTube. Did you watch this, Elaine? Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, didn't things. See the, I didn't see the whole thing. I just saw some of his performance. Went uh, viral on YouTube, and then I think it was I think it was Bobby Bones that was like, I'm going to play this now. I'm telling you it's going to be number one. And boom, mm. there he is just living his best life. And he just has a really great message. And he's just such a big boy. I just want to hug him all the time. But, uh, yeah, he won last night as well. SZA as He's uh, like if Post Spice. Malone came in 3XL. Oh, yeah, big he's, time. He's big. And then they had the Icon and Innovator Awards. Icon going to share. And that performance was interesting. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Um, just say it sucked if it sucked. Was no, it, it good? Was suck. it bad? I just couldn't. The audio was interesting. I, I, There were some points in which Jennifer Hudson was clearly singing, and then it was Cher's turn. And I couldn't tell if it was lip syncing or she was singing over a backtrack or the audio was just strange coming back into my TV. Mm. And then Jennifer Hudson, beside, uh, you know, aside from the fact that Cher's name was six feet tall behind her, completely upstage Cher. She was like, oh, 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 oh riffing like crazy and making sure oh, that yeah. everyone knew she, she was, was a better singer. Singing in cursive is what some people like to call it. Oh, I like that. And then, uh, of course, Beyonce won Innovator of the Year, and she did a beautiful speech presented by Stevie Wonder. And you had that moment where it's clear Stevie's not reading a teleprompter, right? <laughs> yeah, I, th- I, th- I thought the same thing when I was watching him because I was like, but man. He has someone in his ear telling him what to say. Is is that the case? Yeah, yeah. He had two it, earpieces in, and then it was slow enough that someone was telling what to do. I imagine this is not his first rodeo when it comes to presenting an award. But yeah, but I know when sometimes if you let Stevie Wonder, you know, just Stevie just Wonder riff. for a while, he'll he'll yeah he'll go on and on and on. So it's like all right, he was he definitely ma- on yeah. time. The problem was that nobody was there to escort him away from the podium. <laughs> They always screw that up. So Stevie. It's all of a sudden, Beyonce's like, hey, all right, thank you so much, and was very sweet. They played a harmonica in her Jolene remake on the new album, and then she's trying to, like, edge her way into the microphone to give her speech, and Stevie's just like, so excited to be here. Didn't uh, know that he was still in the middle of everything. But uh, it was very fun awards and great job, iHeartRadio. Looking forward to next year when we're there, 2025. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Ash is like, why didn't you get invited to this? We never. We had to pay. Because the they don't care. Time. They don't care about us. It's unfortunate that this company is just leaving us out like this. But we are We're just left out. Bunch of bitches. Who's a bitch? All oh. all of the suits. They're all uh, bitches. Oh. All right. That's Sean Watson and Sabrina Andra. Yep. So ready to hang out. Remember that. Wherever he is Re- in me. Remember uh, that. I will also remember that Andrew Garfield is dating a witch. Whoa. 
Andrew Garfield, one of the Spider-Mans, familiar with I him? I know him. Yeah, yeah, I know him. He was also in, I think, The Social Network, but I'm not positive. He might have been. Uh, I can't remember any other movie he was in besides Spider-Man, and that was not the Spider-Man. Wasn't he? I thought he was like a Winklevoss or something. No, the Winklevosses were a lot, like, bulkier, like, oh. built than uh, Andrew. So well, you're saying, he, oh, no, he was in the social network. I knew he was. You guys made yeah, me feel he, like he was No, but he was the guy that, like, uh, I think ended up getting, like, screwed screwed out of the out of, out of Facebook. Yeah, Eduardo Saverin, uh, or whatever, however you say yeah, that. Eduardo Saverin. He's, he's, Saverin. Saverin. he's one of the ones that they, like, um, settled with for an undisclosed amount and probably a lot, but still what? not as much. As of February 17th, 2024, his net worth was $26 billion. Okay. Wonderful. No, he did get plenty of money then. Well, back to Andrew's girlfriend, who is a witch. And a mm. uh, woman's name is Dr. Kate Thomas, calls herself a professional witch. On her website, she says she teaches a combination of ancient and modern spiritual practices and rituals and makes a bunch of money doing it. She even has a testimonial from Megan Mullally on what a great tarot reader she is. Oh. So there you have it. I mean, I love Megan. So Garfield and Thomas, they were spotted in Malibu on a double date with Phoebe Bridgers and Bo Burnham. So uh, this is where we're at in 2024. Congratulations. What are you doing with your life? How about skipping school to go to this guy's concert? Oh, Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen is right. And he signed off on a fan's absentee note to cut class to attend his show. Nice. Which is really nice. And it only happened one time. I want to be very clear with that. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone's going to try to skip class now and see if Bruce will sign it. But it was during his concert in San Francisco. The musician's attention was brought to a young fan in the front row. The kid was carrying a handwritten sign that read, Skipping school, sign my note. Uh And it worked. The absentee note would allow for the young fan to skip school the following day after attending his concert. He'd go on to sign the note. And it was captured by another fan in attendance. And, uh... After that, the school was like, totally cool, man. Do whatever you want. Moving nice. Forward. Loophole. Um, does, does, does his teacher get to keep the signed note? I, I would hope so. Uh, could you sell that? Is that something that goes for a high price on, on the Ebays? Maybe. Could be. Um, or it could be right next to this guy's one of his thriller jackets. Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. That is correct, and one of Michael Jackson's original thriller jackets from 1983, available to buy now on an online auction. As of the most recent checkup, still available with zero bids. Because Nobody they're wants asking, it? well, uh, you have to pay minimum $100,000. Damn. That seems low for the thriller jacket. Well, the thing is, it wasn't even the one worn in the music oh, video, it was for yeah. promotional events. But yeah. who, who's to say it looks exactly like the one from the music video? Yeah, you, could lie. You, you still somehow want that one that's like verified to be the one he used in the music video. Some I don't know why, but that's better somehow. Now that jacket itself, the one used in the music video, was sold uh, in 2011 at an auction for 1.8 million dollars. Woo! So this one uh, significantly cheaper. Should you have the funds on the bib tube? We've got the second season premiere of Lopez vs. Lopez on NBC, the weakest link days of our lives special on NBC. We also have the stand-up special, Dimitri Martin, Dimitri Deconstructed on Netflix. You can catch Tim Robinson on Seth Meyers. Follow your dreams and me on Instagram at Sabrina Amber. And most importantly, stay with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. Back in just a moment. Uh, We'll pay off that Ashton Kutcher tease uh, in a bit. We'll get into that at some point here uh, because I know he's not thrilled about this Diddy news. I didn't know Ashton Kutcher and Diddy were close, though. I I didn't know. Did you hear uh, about Suge Knight? No. Oh, uh, has a podcast in prison and has a particular message for Diddy that I just How? Wrote. How are you allowed to have a podcast in prison? Uh, they like... have a podcast studio in the prison now. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a nice Might as well. Feature. All right, quick break. When we come back, blind people are gearing up for the solar eclipse. Yes, uh, this is indeed a thing, and there are a lot of folks who are ready for this. We've got that. We've got this uh, World Central Kitchen Gaza chaos that's playing out there. Big, big world news story. We've got you. We've got Jesus. And we've got a whole lot more on the way, honestly. It's all on a Share the Show Tuesday. It's coming up next on the News Junkie.
Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Travel with caution. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Colonial Drive eastbound between Blueford Avenue and Clark Road. The off-ramp is partially blocked from State Road 408 eastbound to Bumby Avenue. Traveling on I-4 this afternoon, you can expect a bit of delays eastbound before US-27 and after State Road 429. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early because at Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. That includes their signature meatloaf, home-style chicken, and more, starting at just $8.99. So make tonight an early dinner night. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Spring is here, and Tools Ace Hardware has everything you need for your lawn and garden this season. Tools Ace Hardware's helpful associates have the answers to all of your lawn and garden questions, and they'll load up your mulch, soils, and fertilizers for you. Now through April 30th, all Cypress mulch is on sale. Get four bags for only $10. Also, check out the biggest sell ever from Steel Outdoor Power Equipment at Tools' 11 full-line steel locations. Tools has 13 convenient locations, including the new store in Hamlin. Or you can just shop online at acehardware.com for free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Orlando Magic Pod Squad is the Orlando Magic's flagship podcast featuring interviews with Magic players, coaches, executives, and legends. Join me, Dante Marcatelli, along with the rotating cast of Magic personalities every Thursday during the season as we conduct deep dive interviews with Magic A-listers. This podcast is a must-listen for any Orlando Magic fan. Join the squad with the Orlando Magic Pod Squad on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. In this week's Marketer's Report, we hear about the importance of local radio from Allison Griffin, head of marketing at State Farm. iHeart has such a broad broadcast reach that is local, and for us to be able to touch customers with a local feel but at a national scale is so efficient and important for us. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, trusted influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. SolarSource has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar. SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free, no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 
727-337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years' experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. Did you know it's Stress Awareness Month? There's a lot of things to stress about. One of the things that people stress about, though, is how their health is. You really don't know unless you have some sort of symptom. Guess what? Life Imaging FLA can help you with that. Early detection of heart disease and early detection of cancer is a game changer when it comes to terms and treatment. And I was able to go to Life Imaging FLA, had my heart scanned, and guess what? I have nothing to stress about. My heart is really good. But other people have gone and found out they had blockage. Get over to Life Imaging FLA now and get this free heart scan pick up your cell phone dial pound 250 say the words free heart scan and you'll be connected in seconds there's a few minimum requirements but this is a value of 699 dollars and it is worth it life imaging fla when you talk to them about the free heart scan also inquire about cancer screening that's super important as well life imaging fla you'll get the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iheart media life imaging fla pick up your cell phone dial pound 250 say the words free heart scan without the ones like like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Guys, here in Central Florida, it is so important your air conditioner works perfectly every time. That's why I suggest a call to our friends at Mills Air. In business since 1992, that's 30 years of experience in keeping Central Florida nice and cool. And their techs are awesome. They can service any brand out there. Don't worry about what kind of AC you have. And Mills Air is a carrier factory authorized dealer, which means up to $1,275 in rebates towards a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. And you can always turn to family-owned and operated Mills Air. Call today and schedule your appointment. 407-277-1159. Online, Mills air.com broadcasting live from the injury law firm of kaufman and lind studios why kaufman and lind because clients and character matter contact them at when you need us.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone this is wtks fm hd1 Cocoa beach orlando listen on your free iheart radio app for all your music radio and podcasts High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. And Stu emails. Stu says, I was an electric and water meter reader for 13 years. We're talking about uh, the woman, Angie Harmon, who is a a model and actress and stuff. And she said that some guy trying to deliver her Instacart order just shot and killed her dog. She blamed the guy. And of course, he says, no, no, the dog was coming after me and attacked me. And I said, I, I want to hear from the people who have the experience in this world, which usually is somebody who's creeping around somebody's house, not in a bad way, in a good way, in a way where you're delivering stuff. And the more off the beaten path you go, the more you meet these people who got dogs that just wander around and they're like aggressive. And then you go, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, I was an electric and water meter reader for 13 years, too, Seb. So I walked through front and backyards daily. I got bit by several dogs and had my arm ripped open by a Rottweiler, he says. Yikes. That sounds tough. But ignorant, angry customers were the scariest thing. I've been threatened with physical violence, verbal abuse. You name it, it happened. Even had a future murderer yell at me for 10 minutes. Years later, I saw her mugshot in the paper for killing her boyfriend. Guess I'm lucky I wasn't the victim. Uh, By the way, uh, Dashens, wiener dogs, and Corgis were the meanest dogs. Thanks, Stu from Auburndale. Thank you, Stu. Dashens? I I never know how to say it. Dotsons, Dotsons, Dachshunds, Dachshunds. That's what it looks like to me always. I always say wiener dog just because it's easier. At some point, you got to cut your losses, I guess. 
Uh, also, we were talking about the the tease, paying off this tease for the next episode about Ashton Kutcher, who was saying he, through some people, it was said that he did not want to have to answer questions about his relationship with Diddy. Yeah. And uh, I had no clue that those two were like buddy buddy, or that they like what would they have worked on together, Ashton Kutcher and Diddy? That uh, they, uh, they probably uh, punked Diddy one time. They hosted right. shows together. They were both on the Late Late Show with James Corden in 2018. Gushed over how they met and became friends. Um, he was doing making the band while uh, Ashton was doing punked. Okay, and then. Diddy called him one day and said, I heard that you're going to punk me, and I just don't think that's a good idea. And then they became buddies after that. And from what I understand, I mean, Diddy knows everybody, and everyone went to the parties. Yeah, I still can't figure out how the guy made as much money as he did, but he clearly, obviously did make a lot of money. And now Diddy finds himself with very few allies. Ashton Kutcher doesn't want to have to answer questions for him. Uh, I know I saw, um, uh, what's his name, the Charlemagne guy. He was... kind of standing up for Diddy, doing the same thing that uh, the other rapper had done where he said, hey, and not that Charlie means a rapper, by the way. Um, he he said, like, look, we've lost so many black billionaires and black millionaires to this kind of stuff. We've got to protect our own, that kind of response. So far, I'm still waiting for, like, what's the goods here? Like, what, what's the goods on Diddy that led to all of these searches? Maybe we don't hear about that for a while. But right now, we just know that they did simultaneous searches on his places in L.A. and Miami, I believe. Yeah. Um, and as that, far as, uh, you know, what he's being accused of, whether it's I don't think they released the criminal or at least the the warrants that of the feds raid. Mm-hmm. But he's been accused of, you know, drugging, filming, sexually assaulting women, having underage people at these parties. Well, um, they said some of it was from this guy. The guy that uh, was leveling accusations. I don't know if he was an assistant or uh, what. The I don't know if he was the original person, but you know what I'm talking about, right? The guy who's been... uh, Yeah, the bodyguard. That's who it was. Not an assistant, a bodyguard. That uh, initial allegation prompted some people to start uh, investigating, I guess, at the federal level. That's what I heard from one of the... Or that's what I saw in one of the articles that I read. And then they ended up from there talking to more people, but... So far, there haven't been any charges uh, against him and in terms of whatever they're investigating here. And it's interesting to see how this all plays out. I know he looked like he was chilling in his in his house, like just smoking, chilling by the pool this weekend. Um, maybe he's got some more confidence that he's not going to get in trouble, but he oh, gotta, previously... Got to show face. Yeah, I like guess it so. It looked like there's, uh, there's nothing wrong. There, yeah. uh, it's um, overzealous. Because previously he was like doing the thing where he was pacing around at the airport and looking like he was scared. And there was a cup. Maybe he went back to his house and looked through some stuff and goes, Oh, good. They didn't find that. (laughs) Thank God. Uh, Um, But there's a couple of reports right now that said that Ashton Kutcher is expecting a subpoena over all this uh, Diddy allegations and stuff. How? uh, Just because he's a friend? Uh, I don't know. It's it's saying uh, his wife, Mila Kunis. They say bans him from speaking to the rapper. I, I, think. I, I think they're gun shy because of the Danny Masterson stuff. And I think they're like, well, oh, yeah. yeah. But this, we don't this is it. only a couple months after they were slammed for writing those uh, letters that basically were like, hey, we spent time with Danny Masterson, never saw him do stuff like this. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think it was as egregious as some of the letters that we saw come to light in the whole Nickelodeon uh, situation. But, yeah, it says Ashton Kutcher is expecting a subpoena over his good friend, in quotes, Sean Diddy Combs, as part of the hip-hop mogul sex trafficking investigation. Man. Yeah, but hold on. You don't just get subpoenaed. You don't get subpoenaed just because you're somebody's friend. Well. You, you, you would get subpoenaed because you were somebody's friend who had some involved. sort of information that they would want to ask you about. Um, like, imagine, like, imagine C-Lane. I'm trying to think. Maybe I'm wrong on this. Uh, imagine C Lane gets arrested for some bad crime tomorrow. Okay. Do they subpoena Sabrina and myself and say, Sabrina, Sabrina. We need to talk to you only if we can answer questions that would fill in the timeline or if they think we're involved. Or- that might be the case. If they're, if it, if it was around the time that they were hanging out a bunch, then Ashton Kutcher would have 
something to witness to or attest to back in 2011 or 2012 when all mm-hmm. you know these allegations or at least when they're saying they they became buddies yeah it, it would depend on like what level like it, it would depend on when things happen and at what level of uh, 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 friendship, I guess, they thought they had between the two of them to the point where were they involved in this together. Or maybe this is just all speculation, and they're tossing Ashton Kutcher's name up in the headline because of the Danny Masters and stuff, uh, and on and on it goes. We'll just have to see. We'll see what they say. Eventually, the feds are going to have to say something about what happened here. Uh, the blind folks, all the visually impaired friends of the show, are going to get to experience the solar eclipse. By the way, I saw a story, and I can't I can't believe this is possibly true. I don't want it to be true. I don't want it to be true. The story said that 28% or 30% of people were unaware that staring directly into a solar eclipse is bad for your eyes. I said, is that possible? No are there that many people? <laughs> are there, like, a quarter of people don't have the brain on their shoulders to understand that staring at a solar eclipse is not good news. Well, well, just, I mean, I mean yeah. take the solar eclipse part out of it. You're staring at the sun. That's just true. because it's being partially covered doesn't mean you're not still staring staring at the sun. But you don't mm-hmm. even know when the solar eclipse is without seeing it or reading it somewhere. And the subline is always reminder: don't stare directly into the eclipse. That's like item number one. Don't look at the eclipse. Don't stare directly at the sun ever. Or use these. Little glasses, and Cordy goes, aren't you glad I saved the eclipse glasses? And well, there's like, oh. warnings going out for fake glasses. Or people oh, really? are still going to be hurting themselves because they think that they're solar eclipse ready, and they're not. I don't know, we got, I don't know we, that we're going to be able to see that much from here, you know, unfortunately, Courtney. Uh, uh, <laughs> Austin's heading out. Austin's heading uh, out to go see this. Is going to the path of totality? He is. He's Look the guy him. who does it. Austin loves him some, some eclipses, and... So he's headed out to see this thing within the path of where it's going to be, I guess. Um, all right. And I wanted to share this story, uh, an update. I haven't talked much about uh, Israel, Gaza, Hamas, et cetera, et cetera, because I think it's pretty much just going to continue on as it is until Israel is either forced, um, their hand is forced to get out of this operation or until they annihilate as many Hamas members as they possibly can. Um, or until they just feel like they're done with this. I, I don't think there's a lot of movement happening there. And the Palestinian people aren't without any guilt in this, just as the Israeli people aren't without any guilt in, in this whole thing. And we spin round and round on a story that uh, gets people more hyped up than virtually anything out there. Words like genocide, tossed out, all that stuff, right? But this is just undeniably bad to me. Now, you've heard me talk on the show quite a bit about a, um, a uh, an organization called World Central Kitchen. And in my estimation, it's probably, unless there's some real skeletons in the closet here, one of the best charity organizations, charitable organizations that I've ever seen in my life. Their whole job is when something bad happens, they rush to the front lines and they feed people. So when Hamas brutally slaughtered over a thousand innocent Israelis on 11-7, they were there. World Central Kitchen went in to the kibbutzes and these other places, and they helped out these folks who had been violently attacked by these folks in Hamas, right? And then when the uh, retribution attacks started in Gaza to try to rout out Hamas, World Central Kitchen hopped over and went into Gaza. They're like These are the people who need help now. So they, they're a really good charity organization. And yesterday, it was eked out that the Israeli Defense Forces may have blown up one of their vehicles and killed like six people who were working for World Central Kitchen. Here, if you're watching us on YouTube and Twitch, is the actual vehicle that they bombed. I'll put this on See It Now as well. You can see the the bomb went right through the damn logo, right? That says World Central Kitchen on the roof of this vehicle, and the bomb went directly through the logo into this vehicle and and hit it. And so it's very clear that that's who was targeted here. And they try to show inside the vehicle a little bit. I don't know what they're going to show, so let me back off of that. But I'll put that up on, on See It Now for the visual. Here's what really gets me about this. Generally, Israel goes above and beyond 
They do uh, knocks, which is like you know pre-bombing things where they they alert them that they're about to knock uh, or that they're about to blow up a building. They try to call everybody in the building. They use resources that no other country on the planet uses to try to do this because of the fact that Hamas fights amongst the civilians and hides amongst the civilians in places like hospitals, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they have people who have to sign off on every layer of this, and that's why this is particularly um, shocking. It says, the IDF's early explanation, read the killing of the World Central Kitchen team, because I think six of them died in this attack, is, per secure, security sources, uh, speaking to Haaretz, before we get into the punitive pretext for the attack, they also disclose a harrowing detail. They drone bombed the convoy three times in a row. So they said, this is this is where it gets real bad. They said, because the team survived one hit and they tried to take cover in another vehicle, so they like fled the vehicle and went to another vehicle, they bombed that one too. So the Israeli Defense Forces bombed the second vehicle. Deliberate, repeated targeting of the convoy, making sure nobody was left alive, they said. And this actually does, uh, doesn't stack up with the alleged pretext. According to sources acquainted with the details of the incident, the operation room in charge of securing the route identified an armed person on the truck and suspected this was a terrorist. By the time preparations were made for the attack, the truck arrived at the warehouse together with the three World uh, Central Kitchen vehicles carrying seven volunteers. Minutes later, the three vehicles left the warehouse without the truck on which the armed person was allegedly sighted. The cars traveled on a route already confirmed by World Central Kitchen to the IDF. So World Central Kitchen has said, hey, y'all, here's where we're going. We're traveling this route. We're driving this way. We're going this way. They gave them all the directions as to where they were going to be traveling that day. Still bombed the thing. Uh, they said they were also made aware of the timing of this particular convoy. At some point while the convoy was traveling on the authorized route, the operations room ordered the drone operator to strike one of the vehicles. Some passengers were seen leaving the stricken vehicle and moving to the other two. They had time to alert superiors they had been attacked, but seconds later they were struck by a second missile. They began moving to a third car. That's when the third missile hit. All seven volunteers were killed. So that is a lot for Israel to answer to. And uh, I'm trying to find any blame within the World Central Kitchen staff. Seems to me like they were going, hey, we're, we're doing all the things. We're telling you where we're going. And they happen to think that somebody from Hamas was with them. And this is a really bad, bad, bad time. Uh, for this to happen to uh, anybody. There's a guy but, from United Nations saying that, that this is not even like an isolated incident. They, this guy, uh, humanitarian coordinator James McGoldrick, citing the killing of at least 196 humanitarians in the occupied West Bank and Gaza since October. Now, buddy, here's where this gets problematic. You can barely trust anybody when it comes to stories like this, to be honest, because people who have uh, put their, their uh, side and bet in with the Palestinian side, will say damn near anything. And people who are all with the Israelis will say damn near anything. And from what I could tell, Israel does go a long way to try to make sure they don't kill civilians, considering that's where all the warfare is going on. But without a doubt, if this car says, we told you we were going here, we told you we were going here, why did they bomb them? Not once, not twice, but thrice. That's very, very troubling. And it's the kind of thing that could be utilized by the United States to say, hey, enough's enough. You've done enough. All right, get the hell out of there. Uh, stop with the bombing in Gaza. We got to move past this. So I don't know what's going to happen next. Nobody does, really, but this is very bad for Israel, a terrible look, and obviously should not have happened. Um, it's affecting poor Modest Yahoo. He keeps having to cancel concerts. Is he? Is he canceling concerts here or in yeah, Israel? The, no, there's been like a couple shows where uh, I follow him on Instagram ever since we had him in studio that one time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's posted, I mean, he, he posts now and then about the, the conflict going on, not as much as some other people that, uh, that, that I've seen, but he, uh, I think it was a, a show in Chicago or somewhere. He's, on, he's been on tour, and uh, I guess there was like a whole lot of protesting going on, wow. and the venue... I think the venue yeah. pushed out and said, "Yeah, we got to pull this show." Just because he's like supports Israel or something? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the guy said. I can't back him up, so I, I have no idea what he's into. BDMX Con says mowing down people waving white flags. That story wasn't as first reported. Look further into that. Dropping bombs on refugee uh, refugee camps because one tip of a terrorist inside. They're really trying to limit collateral damage. 
If you think that they're not, that's fine. But I'm telling you, considering the circumstances, and I've looked into this very deeply, the Israeli government does have so many steps in place before any kind of military operation generally goes down. And they do more certainly than uh, the Hamas does before they launch an attack, which is nothing. They just launch an attack on a civilian outpost and, and hope they kill the most people possible. See which says the World Central Kitchen statement on their website says they moved 100 tons of food uh, into Gaza via the Marine route. All activities have been suspended now. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I can't uh, doubt them for a second, or I can't, uh, I can't be angry at them for a second for stopping all activities in the country. I would, too. I absolutely would, too, because what happened is unacceptable. And uh, it, you can't operate in a theater where your people are being put at risk like that. That's just unacceptable in every way. Um, all right, let's go over to a couple of dispatches. Oh, my God. No, never mind. We're, we're behind here. Oh. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll oh. get to those dispatches. Uh, we've got jury duty coming up with some stuff rolling out of the Supreme Court. That's very important for you to know. And then Jesus. And Jesus, Jesus will be joining Jesus, us. Jesus. Jesus himself on the program. Look, we got him right after Easter, too. Good get on our part. My God. We'll see what happens with all of this as we roll on on to Share the Show Tuesday. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio. It, it, it is. The Monsters in the Morning. I don't know why I put up with you. You suck. And I don't want to be married anymore. And then he'll be like, but you want my paycheck coming in here, don't you? <laughs> and then she goes, if you don't shut your mouth, I'm going to stop cleaning the bed sheets when you S in them. Oh. And he goes, hey, shut up. The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Watch out for an accident on Narcusi Road southbound approaching the Greenway. Heavy delays in that area causing delays northbound as well. The off-ramp from State Road 408 to Bumby Avenue is partially blocked. And traveling on I-4 this afternoon, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. If you see traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Did you know that Mortgage Guy Don from ThatMortgageGuyDon.com has the best rates on commercial loans, SBA loans, and business lines of credit? If you need a loan to buy a franchise, ThatMortgageGuyDon.com is the place to start. If you want to build or expand your business, That Mortgage Guy Don is going to help you with commercial loans as well. And you go to his website, ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. It is chock full of information for you. And any question you have, you have direct access to the expert himself. Peace of mind at your fingertips by going to ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. Hi, I'm Chef Justin Timnery, Florida's culinary ambassador. If you've enjoyed preparing fresh from Florida recipes, then you're going to love the Fresh from Florida Club. As a member, you'll be able to search and save delicious recipes, create custom menus, and ask me your cooking questions. Each month, you'll also get a list of what's in season, so you can make your family the freshest meals possible. It's free and easy to sign up. And best of all, you'll be supporting Florida's farmers, ranchers, and fishermen. Join the club at freshfromflorida.com today. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Scarcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, everyone, I'm Dante Marcatello. And I'm Jake Chapman. We're the hosts of Magic Drive Time, the only daily audio fix for Orlando Magic fans. And actually, I just realized this, Jake, one of the longest-running sports talk shows in Orlando. We've been at it for 13 seasons. How is that possible? Oh, wow, that's good stuff, Dante. And that's exactly what you'll get on Magic Drive Time each day. It's your touchstone for the latest Magic news, game previews and reviews. We've got more stats and notes, and we know what to do with. Listen to Magic Drive Time on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. 
Elevate your outdoor living space this year using stone. Tanzite has developed stone decking crafted without any plastic composite materials to redefine durability. Visit Tanzite.com to see how stone decking doesn't scratch, stays cooler, isn't slippery, and has all the durability you would expect from stone, which is why it's guaranteed for life. At Tanzite.com, you will see how we developed stone to easily transform any ordinary wood deck. You can even make your deck waterproof for a dry space below. Versatile and adaptable. Tanzite is perfect for decks, stairs, over concrete, or ground applications. Visit Tanzite.com to start planning your project with a free 3D design and construction plan tailored to your space. Order a sample today to witness the incredible beauty and durability firsthand at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E.com. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar solarsource.com slash monsters get ready for a stress-free summer i occasionally have nerve discomfort in my hands so the things i love to do let's play something grandma became difficult as i got older if you have occasional stabbing and burning in your hands and feet try nervive nerve relief nervive's clinically studied dose of alpha lipoic acid reduces occasional nerve discomfort in as little as seven days with continued daily use say yes to healthy nerves with nervive nerve relief these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This year full of real radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Get back in time. Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Story time with the three best friends you never knew you had. But R.I.P. anyhow. After 67 years, it is the final day today, friends, for one particular place. That is the Tropicana Las Vegas Casino. Oh. That's it. That's a wrap. You guys are more old Vegas than me. Did you guys ever go to the Tropicana? I don't think so. I, think... I only went to Vegas that one time with you guys. Oh, really? So, okay. C Lane, I remember going to Old Vegas with you. Yeah. Did we go to that? I don't think we went to the Tropicana. Yeah. I I don't know where it is, though. It says Las Vegas Boulevard South. That's not Old Vegas. Oh, that's a, yet another place? It was Semi-new from... Vegas. Middle-aged Vegas. It, it uh, has been there for 67 years. It is the Las Vegas Strip's third oldest casino, and it will be chained shut in just a matter of hours. It's going to be demolished in October so they can build a $1.5 billion Major League Baseball stadium in its place uh, in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is going way big into the sports world, oh, right? Yeah. They got that hockey team, and I, you've, I'm sure you've seen some of the footage of the hockey team, like all the stuff they do on the ice and in the arena. And uh, You haven't seen this before? It's crazy. Not, no. Yeah. Uh, is it yeah. like in the sense of your Savannah Bananas where they're making it a lot more entertaining for people? Kind of, but you know how they do the the mapping with lights and oh, um, yeah, yeah. and they have ice, like obviously for the hockey rink. They do all sorts of visual effects on there, and it's unbelievable the amount of things that they could pull off. It's really cool. They put on a great show. 
And I think they're going to try to do the same thing with a lot of other sports because Vegas has, what do they have? The Raiders? They got the Raiders, right? In the NFL world, unless mm-hmm. I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they then the Raiders. Um, they have, I mean, they're big on soccer. They have yes. the uh, both men and women's team doing very well. Do they have a basketball team in Las Vegas? Yeah. Lakers. Okay, they have a baseball team. No, that's not the Lakers. That's uh, uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh, but God. Vegas. There we go. Um, Las Vegas. Have... I don't know if they do. I don't this think is their, so. This is the baseball team that they're bringing in, though, and they're obviously going to put a lot of money into this, over $1.5 billion for the stadium. Uh, the Aces, but I'm not saying that it's part of MLB. Or yeah, MLB. that's probably like. And You know what I mean. Yeah, MLB, NBA. Major League Baseball, or NBA, yeah, in the case of basketball. Sports, baby. Uh, so yeah, the they're major really, league basketball. They're putting a lot behind sports in Vegas, and I don't blame them. It's going to bring in a bunch of money for them. Oh, they're Population saying that of, NBA's Las Vegas expansion is inevitable. So that'll be the next. Really? Thing. Mm-hmm. See, then they'll have almost all of it if they have the baseball team, football team, basketball team, hockey team, and that's you got like covering all the bases you possibly could. They're really, really betting on Vegas being this long term. Big time destination, which I, I think they should. Good for them. So it's featured in the 1971 film Diamonds Are Forever by James Bond, where he stayed in a swanky suite at the Tropicana Las Vegas. But now there's a big old lock around it, or there will be in a matter of hours, and they will knock that sucker down in just a little bit. But some wild times had in the, the walls of that place, the Tropicana for sure. Uh, meanwhile, wild times on the ground as they believe that trash from the International Space Station may have hit a house in Florida. They believe that this could have happened to Alejandro Otera. His house may have been hit by a two-pound object that came from the International Space Station. It tore through the roof and both floors of his two-story house in Naples, Florida. If it was a two-pound object from the space station, doesn't that mean it was a lot bigger? Because if it survived you know, getting into Earth's atmosphere, it would would have been burning up, right? Yeah, it should have been, I guess. They said it was captured on his Nest Home security cameras. They captured the crash at 2.34 p.m. local time on March 8th. That's an important piece of information because it's a close match for the time, 2.29 EST. The U.S. Space Command recorded the reentry of a single space debris piece from the space station. They said it was headed for the Gulf of Mexico, headed towards southwest Florida. The space junk consisted of depleted batteries from the ISS attached to a cargo pallet that was originally supposed to come back to Earth in a controlled manner. And it missed a ride, and they just dropped it, and it landed on this dude's house. <laughs> it just Does right insurance the cover that? Is that an act of God? Damn, I don't know. That's a tough one. I'd even explain that. <laughs> I hey, swear well, it came from this guy. Thank God he had the... the nest footage because he could prove the time and then say hey look this coincides with the time that nasa was dropping these damn batteries and then at least you have some hope because otherwise nobody's going to believe you Uh, the stuff smell fell from space and went right through the roof of my house nobody's going to believe that's the case uh let's work in two dispatches real quick here's super gt 2007 i don't know what that means but let's hear your voice hey guys love the show I work for a company that rhymes with X. Um, I'm a lock door. Sex. And uh, I'm a driver. Sex company. And we're not allowed to carry, but there are times where I wished I carried. Um, I've actually been bitten uh, by a dog at the job. So, yeah. Um, we definitely need more information about the story because uh, sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, it could be more complicated. It often is, right? It's like the first story you get is, Oh, my God, how could this person do this? And then you go, all right, here's the rest of the details. You go, oh, okay, that changes things a little bit. That's why I said so many people are angry about fictitious versions of reality. They get mad and they're, oh, I can't believe this is happening. And then when they get all pissed off about it, then they realize that uh, when the truth comes out, they were angry about something that wasn't factual. Happens every day. Every single day you see something like this go viral out there. Here's Swilly talking about wasp spray. A lot of people were uh, making comments about that. Hey, everybody. Happy today. You too. So I'm a pool guy um, running in and out of people's backyards all day long. I have a pretty good relationship with most of my clients' animals, um, but I do carry around, like the other dispatcher, a, uh, a little 
can of wasp spray. It's got good range. It's non-lethal. That's a good deterrent. I can buy it for cheap. I've never had to use it on a dog, but I have had to use it on a horse before. Ooh. <laughs> one of my clients has two horses that live in his backyard, and one of them's named Whitey because he's white, and one of them's named Bitey because he, he was arrested for felony tax evasion in 2014. I'm just kidding. He bites. And more specifically, he likes to bite butt cheeks, so he'll wait till you turn oh, around man. and try and grab a mouthful. So I've had to hit him a couple times with that. Now he kind of knows. He knows what I'm packing. I'll just I flash it at him and get him to go away. But uh, wow. yeah, I like the wasp spray. I've never been bit by a horse, quite obviously, but it seems like that would hurt. Yeah. Horse is a big, big teeth. I mean, if they chomp all the way down, I don't yeah. think that they're. Is it though? Because people get bit by horses quite often, but it doesn't seem like it has that. I lost my hand to a horse. Yeah, I think like, that they, there is something that that stops it, or doesn't have as much of a lock jaw mechanism. Well, that we all find. know if a horse kicks you, the horse could kill you. Oh, for but sure. if so, let, fall let's off just a say horse. Let's throw this to to our horse people who are hanging out with us today. If you just put your hand in a horse's mouth and the horse went boom and closed its teeth, fingers gone, just right off, or would you would they be just be mangled? Their teeth are very big. And yeah. it seems like they could do some serious damage with those chompers. I love horses so much. I was they just are. like I'd be like, take the rest of it, you cutie bye. Now let's go and Right off into the, the sunset. You know how to ride a horse? Yeah. Oh, man. I've never really been on a horse, like actual riding a horse. And, and I jumped on one at a party one time, but I've never actually, like, you know, you know, been on a horse going full tilt boogie or whatever. I've done, I've done uh, like, just a pony ride or something. It's in a circle, but I've never, like, been riding, yeah. riding. The, and then you go on, like, the trail horses, and it's like, mm. you don't have to do anything. They, they just know go. exactly where they're going. They've that's their twelfth time doing the same exact trail that day. Uh, okay, but that's not what I'm looking for. Like, no, you want to gallop, but that takes. Yeah, like, you got to do training. You got to find someone who that that takes. You could you talk about damage. You would f up your genitals if you did not gallop or trot properly. All right, but here's the difference that I'm trying to highlight here. I think what you're talking about, if you go on a trail or something, I think that's riding on a horse and like the cool thing would be riding a horse like like you're saying like we don't like, yeah, yeah mm. man you know you're like you're kind of up a little bit off the seat kind of like a like a jockey or whatever and you're, moving you're that. using your leg muscles like oh, yeah. you have to go in the rhythm of the horse or you're going to hurt the horse definitely hurt yourself it could be bucked off i mean it's that's why like some people where they have horses, you can't just be like, can I ride your horse and then take no. it for a gallop around? It's like, no, you need training for it. Those are big-ass animals, powerful mm-hmm. animals for sure. When we come back, uh, jury duty, we will go to the Supreme Court. We'll talk about what's going on with that uh, fraud case and all the hundreds of millions that Trump owes. What's going on in that court case will maybe surprise you. We'll see. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. <laughs> This is Real Radio 104.1 on your phone with the iHeartRadio app and on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. We are an iHeartRadio station. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. LeBron James finally found the three-point shot. At 39, he's now the best he's ever been from deep. Many stars eventually adapted to the three, and it extended all of their careers. LeBron's always had a weird relationship with the three. He kind of, sort of, never really embraced it. But as the king ages, he's realized he needs it now more than ever and is delivering. I'm Colin Cowherd. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. In this week's Marketers Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing. Although we're marketing at a very broad scale, it does include specific local markets, and that's the beauty of iHeart's network. 
As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Handyman knows how to get things done. getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over Life Imaging FLA. April is Stress Awareness Month, and of course, stress is your body's natural response to pressure. It's also linked to six leading causes of death, and that includes heart disease and cancer. Often, those do not have symptoms. As a matter of fact, we know that many patients who have heart disease, their very first symptom was sudden death, and we also know that many life situations or life events can cause you stress. Let Life Imaging FLA and their free heart scan make sure that you're fine. My mother and father-in-law did this, and the relief they got from a clear scan was unbelievable. And remember, Remember, there are no dyes, no injections. You don't have to take your clothes off. The entire thing only lasts about 10 minutes. Do what I did. Get that free heart scan from Life Imaging FLA. Remember, just a few minimum requirements, but it is a $699 value, and it's easy to make your appointment. Just pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. That's all you have to do. Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. They will connect you in seconds. Make that call today, guys. Make 2024 the year. You take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeartMedia. Orlando Magic Pod Squad is the Orlando Magic's flagship podcast featuring interviews with Magic players, coaches, executives, and legends. Join me, Dante Marcatelli, along with the rotating cast of Magic personalities every Thursday during the season as we conduct deep dive interviews with Magic A-listers. This podcast is a must-listen for any Orlando Magic fan. Join the squad with the Orlando Magic Pod Squad on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navaj Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free, never sounded so good. Progressive presents 10 things on a food truck owner's to-do list that are harder than getting a commercial auto insurance quote. 
Stocking the fridge, prepping the stations, finding employees that get along well, finding employees that actually do their job. Look at you, Gary. Balancing the books, balancing the flavors, having a fresh menu and fresh produce and fresh meat, but never a fresh mouth. But the easiest thing on a small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you can save on commercial auto insurance. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Coverage subject to policy terms and conditions. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Now, we tend not to think about now. We dream about tomorrow, relive yesterday. But right now in front of us is victory over cancer. Right now, cancer research funded by the V Foundation is leading to better treatments and saving lives. Victory over cancer is there for the taking by you because today's cancer research is tomorrow's victory. Learn more at V.org. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Real. 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 Radio. Forever at the crossroads between viral news. And total. We appreciate you. And you're on a journey with the three best friends you never knew you had. Going through the most viral stories of the day. An email coming in. Tips at thenewsjunkie.com. And Gloria says, you're talking about horses biting people, which I did not know there would be so many people who responded to this. Because there, see, like, there are a lot of people in the audience who have been bitten by a horse at some point. That doesn't surprise me. Nah, well, lot, I, I, you guys seem uh, biteable. Uh, we have a biteable audience, you think? Or the horses are just truly that evil? It's one of the two of those. Probably a little both. Gloria says, uh, subject horse bite, I was bit by a horse on my left boob. He bit and held me until I was on the ground. It hurts incredibly bad, and he did draw blood, but I still have my boob, she says. Hmm. Love the show, Gloria. Well, <laughs> congrats on winning that battle, Gloria. And, uh, man, I'm glad that it didn't get even worse for you because it sounds pretty tough. Um, uh, probably four or five different emails from people saying that they have been hit, they've been bit by a horse at some point. Uh, Robert emails, and Robert says to tips of the news My husband was listening to your show via Spotify and said the last show we could see is from March 22nd. Any chance you could look into this as he's been missing out on your content? Robert, I'm so sorry about your husband. I'm so sorry, but we have no control over this. This is the uh, one problematic thing about being able to subscribe on 8 million platforms. If it screws up on that platform, you're like, well, I guess the news yeah. junkie's done. We don't just call it quits. Them, but tweet them. You know, they, they sometimes will answer that stuff. All you have to do is just remember, if things aren't updating, go to the homepage, thenewsjunkie.com, and you'll look. You'll see the latest show right there every single day, and you'll know something's wrong with Spotify. But I hate that we, if we just cut off communication on Spotify, we can't get to the people to tell We're them what's up. We're still here. Yeah, we still exist, everybody. Just remember, go to thenewsjunkie.com. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, we got uh, jury duty to get into, so let's do just that, and we're headed all the way up to the Supreme Court. So let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. I like how you say we're headed all the way up to the Supreme Court for jury duty. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Yeah. But yeah, afterwards, yeah. we're going to get higher. Uh, we're going to Jesus. Jesus. That's right, folks. Uh, uh, yeah. We're going to be talking to Jesus. Is he, is he be dressed like Jesus. I don't know what to expect. I've just been emailing back and forth a little bit. I, I did the very shout out curious. yesterday. The last interview you booked was also very interesting. So, And by the way, I want to, on behalf of all of us, thank the hairdresser. Jesus' hairdresser was the one who shouted him out. Whenever we got somebody that we're trying to look for on the show... It helps if you're like, oh, I'm connected in some way, right? Like if you go, oh, I know somebody who knows somebody, just reach out and then connect the dots and bring them into our web. You are great, great assistance 
when you do that. We appreciate you. Everybody out there uh, who helps out, we, we definitely love that. So, all right, we'll get to Jesus momentarily. I hate to say it, but Jesus is going to have to wait. we got to get to jury wow, duty very quick. Dude. I know. I know. Putting putting what, old Jesus. Days? That seems a little bit rude, but I'm going to do it anyways. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. 866-CALL-MO. Decon says, tomorrow can we interview Satan? Uh, you know, We have to give the opposition <laughs> equal time. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> we'll toss it out there. If you know somebody who's a Satanist and they are willing to come on the show and talk about things, we would love to hear from you. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com uh, or, or just email me, tips thenewsjunkie.com, and set us up an interview with uh, the Satan side of things. Certainly be interested. Uh, all right. Uh, JustCallMo.com is the website. And after an accident, you have lots of attorneys that you can call. But Mo is the one you should call because it's the right decision. It's the person who's going to guide you to the finish line and not just settle based on an algorithm or some software or something. So just go to the uh, the website, justcallmo.com or call 866-CALL-MO. To the Supreme Court, the Florida Supreme Court in this case, not all the way up, but we got a big battle underway for November oh, yeah. and abortion has entered the ring here and entered the chat. Here's what's happening. The first thing that happened was they said this ban on abortions after six weeks can take effect. It's constitutional, according to the Florida Constitution. They said that this six-week abortion ban can go into effect in the state of Florida. Right? That's one thing. That's tough because most people don't even know they're pregnant until after six weeks. And then that can cause a lot of issues uh, getting anything done from them. But the Florida Supreme Court said at the same time that the language in this particular amendment that we're going to be voting on in November can go through. Here's what the amendment reads. It says, no law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. Fetal viability is about 24 to 28 weeks of pregnancy. Uh, and at first they were concerned that viability was vague. I've always been a viability guy. Like if the if the fetus can exist outside the body, you're killing somebody. That you're like it's actually killing a, a human being. Before that, you don't have a fully formed human being that can exist without a mother. And it's completely different, and the moral arguments to me are very different. But now this is on the ballot, and in November, if people don't vote for it, it will go to the six week ban in Florida. Mm -hmm. If people do vote for it. And this is pretty important. Has to be over sixty percent of people. It's mm. always the one that kind of yeah. bites us in the ass. Yeah, the amendments are big. You have to get over that sixty percent hump these days. Everyone who's turned off about who uh, you know the voting for politicians, and you have already kind of put it off to the side because you don't want to vote for the president. Like this is something to vote for. This is something that will be on the ballot that has a direct effect on you know somebody. That you love or yourself. So you can yeah, you, at least go and vote for that. You do not have to vote for somebody for president. If you think both options suck, you do not have to vote for those people. But to go, I don't like either of those people, and then I also don't care about voting on any of these other issues, uh, that's that's saying something else. Uh, let me see what the latest... Well, there's also oh. marijuana on there, you know, if you want to yeah. throw in the your, uh, your opinion for that. Hey, man, this is going to make it a nail-biter. A new poll from the University of North Florida, uh, hang on, uh, indicates majority support for what for this amendment. It says a survey of 716 registered voters says that the measure surpasses the 60 percent majority supermajority threshold needed to pass, and 62 uh, percent say they would vote yes on this. So, whoo, that's going to come right down to it, and that's either like very restrictive or pretty loose and yeah. much more like it was prior to like, you know, the last five years or so. Very interesting how that shapes out in the state of Florida uh, and who comes out to the polls could uh, affect that in, in a pretty obvious way. And the okay. other one, uh, what that's going to be on the ballot, the marijuana one. Oh, you already said it. Yeah. C line said it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, C -Line said, if you don't want to vote for that, come out for the marijuana thing. What's the, the text on the marijuana thing? Is it just that you can... It's recreational. recreational. Oh, recreational. All right. So it would 
ditch the whole thing where you go, oh, doc, I'm not feeling so hot. Give me the marijuana. I I don't know how uh, it's been affected in states where they have recreational or and medicinal because there are still people in like Colorado, mm-hmm. I think, who go to a medicinal marijuana provider, even though they can go wherever they want. Because I think that there's certain uh, marijuana medications that are only available in the medical sense. Wow. Oh, like uh, Charlotte's Web type stuff? That or... Stronger strains or CBD concentrate oh. that, I mean, I, I don't know for sure, but I feel like that there are stuff that is like specifically for medical use no, in, we'll, in Colorado. We'll see in this case where everybody's uh, headed when it comes to November. A lot on the line. When we come back... Jesus himself will be joining us on the show. Oh, my God. And it's just days after Easter, so the man's got a busy schedule. But what's it like being Jesus? This time of year, there's a lot of pressure. This is a guy who's one of the main Jesus over at Holy Land. Or was. And, uh, yeah, that place is shut down these days. They're knocking it down to make a, it's like a super mall expensive... Jesus now? hospital i don't know we I, that's that's another question put that on the list what's going on now what's on the schedule these days you still jesus where, where are you jesus in these these days i got lots of things i want to know especially about working at holy land we'll get to that so that is coming up next on the news junkie it's like a text message with your voice the talk back feature on the free iheart radio app follow real radio 104.1 tap the microphone and speak from the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's police activity blocking some lanes on Lee Road eastbound and westbound near I-4. Travel with caution through there. On I-4 westbound, heavy delays due to an accident near Sand Lake Road. Two right lanes are blocked, and authorities are working on an accident on Goldenrod Road northbound at Valencia College Lane. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. I occasionally have nerve discomfort in my hands, so the things I love to do. Let's play some- Grandma became difficult as I got older. If you have occasional stabbing and burning in your hands and feet, try Nervive Nerve Relief. Nervive's clinically studied dose of alpha lipoic acid reduces occasional nerve discomfort in as little as seven days with continued daily use. Say yes to healthy nerves with Nervive Nerve Relief. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Do you need your contractor's license? In four short weekends with Camtech School of Construction, you'll be able to ace the state exam. Get legal, get licensed, get Camtech. Join us for a free info seminar this Thursday night at 7 p.m. at the Orlando Wyndham Garden. CamtechSchool.com. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online at a branch or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Hey there, it's Russ Rollins. I'm talking to all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at their cold swimming pools. It's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With Solar Source, you can enjoy your pool year-round like I do. Top five things Solar Source customers do after solar heating their pools? Well, spend time with your family. Go nighttime swimming. You got uh, you got movie nights in the pool. You got water workouts and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins, can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at Solar 
solarsource.com slash monsters. Don't wait any longer. Start enjoying your pool again with Solar Source. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Carl Black Chevrolet wants to send you and a friend on a road to Nashville for a fun-filled weekend and tickets for two to see outlaw country singer Cody Jenks on April the 27th at Ascend Amphitheater. Log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win two lawn seats in the Carl Black Chevy Silverado. Carl Black will provide you with round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville. Plus, you get $200 in spending cash right in your pocket. They're going to spring for two nights in deluxe hotel room accommodations in the Omni Hotel in Nashville. So, log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win a pair of lawn seats tickets to see Cody Jenks in Nashville, plus you get cash and you also get the deluxe hotel accommodations in Nashville. It's Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. Online, go to carlblackorlando.com. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. Guys, here in Central Florida, it is so important your air conditioner works perfectly every time. That's why I suggest a call to our friends at Mills Air. In business since 1992, that's 30 years of experience in keeping Central Florida nice and cool. And their techs are awesome. They can service any brand out there. Don't worry about what kind of AC you have. And Mills Air is a carrier factory authorized dealer, which means up to $1,275 in rebates towards a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. And you can always turn to family owned and operated Mills Air. Call today and schedule your appointment. 407-277-1159. Online, millsair.com. As a parent, you're probably unsure what college will look like for your child in the future. Rest assured, Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. There's no way to know what type of higher education your child will pursue years from now. But whether it's a two-year state college, four-year university, trade, or technical school, in state or out, our flexible 529 prepaid plans will help you pay for it, starting at just $34 a month, so you can plan on giving your child the best future possible. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. GMC Sierra Trucks in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. On the bright side, we're not dead yet. You're listening. You, no matter where you listen to this fine radio show, at least we hope you think highly of us. If you miss anything today, as always, you can go get the podcast, go over to newsjunkie.com, and you'll see all the links right there waiting for you. It's free, and if the platform you're listening on doesn't want to update things, well, uh, never fear. iHeartRadio is there to help. Those are over at thenewsjunkie.com right now. All right, we've been talking about this, and uh, I mean, here For we what? are. We're... 2,024 years, right? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> and I said yesterday, uh, I said, look, I'd like to talk to somebody who spent some time playing Jesus over well, this, at Holy Land. This all started with you wanting to participate in, uh, or, or at least attend 
a recreation of the trial of, of, of Christ? Yeah. yeah, because I didn't know it was such an ordeal. Like, it's really a big to-do And then us to Catholic school kids were like, been there, done that many yeah. times. But I, like, I didn't know there's budget and stuff that goes into oh, some of these. Yeah. Austin was talking about, like, the, the resurrection, crew, and you fly off. It's, like, the really, really, really uh, intense stuff that they put together. So I said, we got to go to, like, the heart of all of this. And Andre Petre, am I saying your name right, or did I bungle that? That's uh, pretty close. Andre Pete, Andre Petre, whatever okay. you Andre, to Andre Petre, a.k.a. Jesus from Holy Land, where you worked as Jesus for some time. Now, how long did you work as as Jesus at Holy Land? Uh, it was about four and a half years. I was there from right at the beginning of 2009 until June of 2013. Now, is there a lot of competition to be Jesus? I would imagine there would be. Um, I mean, not necessarily competition, I would say. Uh, There's multiple Jesus, though, right? Like, or were you no, yeah, Jesus? We, it was funny because I was listening to the show earlier, and you actually used the word we used, which was Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> because to do, uh, you know, a theme park type uh, schedule where you have open six days a week mm -hmm. um, you, and you do two crucifixions a day, you need enough Jesus to go around. Yeah. <laughs> Got to have a bunch of them. Is it true? You, you sent me an email back and forth. You said, did you also play Satan? Yep. I was actually the first Satan uh, at HLE. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's playing both sides of the coin here. Oh, I got thrown all kind of stuff because, I mean, I, I was a quick learn. Uh, I went to college for acting, and so I had the background, and they would just throw stuff at me and be like, hey, we're going to do this uh -huh. next week, or we're going to do this tomorrow morning. Flexible. Huh? Can you learn it quick? Andre, and I, when, I put it on its feet. When you're out there at Holy Land, you're playing Jesus, and uh, it gets to Easter time. I mean, it's it's got to be like, it's the Super Bowl, right? When when you're playing yeah. Jesus around Easter, this is your Super Bowl. Are you in high demand still? Uh, I mean, since I left Holy Land, I still work. Um, and, yes, I actually have a good friend from college. Um, he and I performed uh, in a traveling choir. We traveled all over the world singing, and he is now a reverend at a church in Texas, and mm -hmm. I just got back from there uh, playing Christ. Wow. All right. It's like, so that's that's a big, big day when it comes down to, you know, the person who's going to play that role, a lot what of pressure on you. the audition process like? For Jesus. Um, to be honest, like I kind of fell into the role. Um, Much like I was Christ actually himself? working, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> up in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, there was a production, a, a multi million dollar Broadway scale production called The Miracle. Mm -hmm. And there I was hired in to play Thomas and Michael the Archangel. I had just gone and auditioned. Um, I had been scouted. I was seen at Southeastern Theater Conference. And while I was there, they decided to make me a backup Jesus. And I played the role a number of times. And I went to the following SCTC. And, of course, I had the look mm -hmm. um, and auditioned there. And Holy Land saw me there. And they just picked me up. Yeah. So, so you've done religious acting in Pigeon Forge. You've done it in Orlando. Is there, like... Um, uh, when, when you do different jobs or, or work for different productions that are uh, religious in nature, do you end up running into the same people or the same like uh, producers or even actors? Uh, oh, as far as actors go, absolutely. They're up in Branson, Missouri, and uh, in Lancaster, uh, there was Sight and Sound. And mm -hmm. a number of us who were Holy Land also worked those productions as well as the Miracle in Pigeon Forge. So, you know, if you're... Christian and a performer, there's only so many places mm. you're going to work if you want to do faith-based acting. Right. And so, yes, you do run into a lot of the same people. Yeah. When when you're playing these roles, especially, I don't know if it gets worse or, or, or more intense, I guess I should say, around like Easter or something. But when you're playing the role of Jesus and you're doing all this stuff, have you ever had people who, while you were performing, say, at Holy Land, seem to be taking it like really serious? Like they almost thought you were maybe... Jesus, and they were really buying into what was happening in front of them? Um, I've definitely had situations where folks were really wrapped up in the moment, uh, especially at Holy Land when we do the crucifixion. I mean, we have the Roman soldiers. It's full stage combat, and we're on cement. We're, on, we're doing stage combat on the ground, so, you know, 
you're being hit, you're you're taking these really well placed uh, punches, and there's there's stage blood and everything else. So people really do get into the moment, and I don't know that people really think that the person is Jesus. I don't, you know, I mean, barring a situation where, um, you know, maybe a person is just uh, cognitively. Uh, off kilter right. for whatever yeah. reason, you know, or a might child, be, uh, like maybe there might be like a, a, a school oh, field sure. trip, and they're like, "Do we sit on sure. his lap too?" I don't understand. No, um, I mean, as far as that goes, I really think that mostly people understand that's not the real Jesus. I mean, I could get where a child might see and not yeah. differentiate, just mm-hmm. like little kids don't necessarily know the difference between movies and reality. Uh. Uh, but as far as adults go, and it, it was funny because last week my friend in Texas made a comment about the Santa Claus effect, which I was never a fan of the Santa Claus effect. And, you know, people would call me Jesus and I would say in character and everything, but typically uh, like once I walked away from the park or whatever, people would see me in public and recognize me and I would, you know, Hey, my name's Andre. Oh, it's they, nice they still try to call you Jesus like out at the public. Well, they didn't know my name. Yeah. Okay. There's <laughs> nothing. It's not like you go to a theater and there's a play bit. So, you know, they, all they know is that's, that's Jesus. Yeah. So they'll be, they'll say, Hey, Jesus, how you doing? And this and that. I introduced myself at that point. Cause I was never, I was never a fan of the whole Santa Claus effect. We're, we're uh, getting... It's a very humbling. It's a very humbling thing to portray Christ. Uh, Andre, we're getting a lot of folks in chat right now. Who saying are saying how ripped he is. That they're saying you look like the John Krasinski Jesus, like <laughs> John Krasinski from The Office uh, meets Jesus. It's like the newfangled version of this. And um, now you don't do the the Jesus in quite as much because Holy Land is gone. Obviously, you're working into other things here. But in the in the heat of it, right when like Holy Land was at its prime, you're playing Jesus. How much did they pay Jesus? What was the like Jesus salary? Was it good? It was different depending on who they were, because not everybody had the same responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So some people would just be um, a a certain level, like let's say a meet and greet price figure. You know, you'd walk outside and you'd take pictures with people, smile, uh, shake hands, that kind of stuff. Uh, Then you had people who were... I didn't imagine Jesus smiling. I don't know why. I always thought it was more of a serious guy. He has a good time. He has a good time. He loves the wine. What about top dog Jesus? Like uh, ultimate? This, uh, is, a, this is the honestly, best. Honestly, I was never. Well, there was a, a gentleman that played Christ there for a while before me, so I don't know what that gentleman really made. And even my salary was skewed because uh, I did other things and other responsibilities that had non-monetary compensation uh, in in whatever ways that looked like. Uh, mm-hmm. Whether that helped me, you know you know, logistically uh, living expenses and whatnot. So do they, do they try to pay you less? Do they try to pay you less for playing Satan just to like (laughs) stick it to it? No, no. All that was interwoven. Like on some days I would play both Jesus and Satan in the same day. And it all had to do with how I fixed my hair, how I did my makeup, the costuming. I could really. Uh, All right. Andre, when you're, when, when you're playing Satan and you like see yourself as you're about to go out for prime time, is there anything about that that feels weird? Like you look into the mirror, you're dressed up as Satan. You feel uncomfortable about that at all? It's a character. Mm-hmm. I mean, the thing about the the difference between playing Christ and playing Satan was there was such a responsibility to step out and portray Christ. Yeah. Um, and being a college student, I went through psychology. I went through heavy acting classes. I approached it from a very technical standpoint. And honestly, I, I was changed through the process. But when it came to playing Satan, um, Satan can be so many things that, you know, it, it was it was it was a character. Mm-hmm. It, they didn't have the same psychological tent to it. If you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, it would be. It seems like it would be fun to play Satan. Honestly, it was, a, it, it yeah. was interesting. Yeah. That's for sure. And and less pressure because people are really looking at Jesus to nail it out of the park. Ooh, not pun, pun intended. Not, uh, uh, pun not uh, intended. Uh, <laughs> did not mean to do it on purpose. Well, the the meaner satan was the better jesus looked so there was yeah. responsibility you got to play off of each other i guess exactly. was, was there ever any um bloopers while you were doing the whole thing where you're like you know doing the crucifixion and all that good stuff 
Oh, well, sure. I mean, live theater, you're always going to run into stuff, um, mics turning off, somebody forgetting a prop, whatever that looks like, not making an entrance on time and people having to stall for you. Um, uh, there, there was one day that I, I totally just spit blood all over a Roman soldier oh. and I felt bad about that. <laughs> So they actually had you like with blood in your mouth, so it would be more real. Oh, absolutely! Wow. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. No, it was full tilt. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a, a whole production that they had over there. It, we it's, it's, weird to, it's, oh, it's weird to hear that that uh, the productions were this uh, intensive and stuff because from the outside looking in, I don't remember the Holy Land experience being a huge money maker. But I mean, they what? yeah, but they spent money. I mean, mm-hmm. they, it, it seems like you know. Well, they to, also got some uh, tax write offs. Well. The uh, the Holy Land experience itself was actually umbrellaed under Trinity Broadcasting Network, which is right. worldwide. So, are they the ones that own uh, the eyesore? Majesty uh, Building. No, oh, no, no, no. no I, I don't know the gentleman that owned that. Uh, but TBN, they uh, I actually think at one point they tried to tell to sell the I four eyesore to TBN, and TBN was like, nope, <laughs> not even um, wanted it. Yeah, but uh, TBN, of course had funds coming in nonprofit organization or whatnot. So the whole in itself wasn't really seen as something that was meant to make money. Mm -hmm. It was a ministry outlet. So um, insofar as that goes, the fact that it didn't make money wasn't necessarily a huge focal point of the folks in charge. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, I knew very well the lady who was in charge of Holy Land. Her name was Jan Crouch. And she actually put a lot of her own money directly into the park, from what I understood, at least. Um, Instead of, you know, necessarily keeping a salary for herself, she put it into the ministry to take care of all the things, the oh. people, the the park itself, the maintaining of it, the production, and the staff. Uh, Andre Petre uh, played Jesus at Holy Land for, for years. Obviously, I was talking about this with uh, some of the productions that you see around Eastern, how crazy and uh, insane it gets. And the level of production that they've gone through, is, but beyond anything I've seen, do you do acting that's not religious-based, or are you focus like, solely on the religion stuff? Um. To be honest with you, it's never really been something that I necessarily targeted unless I felt led to. Mm-hmm. I I have been a strong Christian since I was young, and it was pretty much always in whatever I did, you know, I'd say, God, point me to where I'm supposed to be, what I'm supposed to go do. I was in secular theater before, but these days I, I pretty much only do this and only at Easter. Now I'm a stay-at-home dad. Yeah. I mean, I had an idea for, like, a Broadway production where all the people who played Jesus— would battle each other, and <laughs> then you know the ultimate Jesus would win over, and that would be the person we just got that role moving forward. That sounds more Did like they a reality musical show. Numbers? Yeah, um, yeah. The, well, there could be some, but I want some fighting in it. Like I want some action. So it's battle bots, <laughs> Jesus. Got it. Yeah, mm-hmm. ground to ground combat, Jesus, and the winner okay. take all. And uh, I just think that would be something we could look into, perhaps down the road, I Andre. I don't but, know about that, Andre. Now well, you know, maybe you're not into it, but uh, if, if Andre is, then me and him are going to do the idea. You know. And, uh, Earlier, you described. You uh, can kiss my ass. Well, <laughs> I don't know if Andre is going to do it based on what he just told you about Andre, how the Lord and Savior. Battle, Andre, BattleBots Jesus, yes or no? Are you in? <laughs> uh, I could do stage combat with you all day long, but uh, I'm not doing stage match. Oh, come I'm getting on. too old for that. Uh, I think we could make this happen. Uh, just, uh, you said. Uh, throw uh, some money at it. Earlier, mm-hmm. Andre, you compared, uh, or, or Sean compared it, but you agreed. The uh, the Easter being like the big day at Holy Land for, you know, um, wanting to go out and see the, the shows, the crucifixion stuff, sure. the Jesus. Um, how, how was that in comparison to the one day a year that they uh, that they had to not charge people to come in? I usually I think that was like max capacity line around the door. Was it that, that much more intense on that day doing the shows? It was always equal. It was really? always equal. Like that, anytime, again, they would actually do multiple free days a year. Anytime that that happened and on Christmas and Easter, it was always, it was literally, there were so many people in the park. It would be at capacity. The uh, guest services folks would have to put stanchions out to create, because we literally did the Via Dolorosa, the, the walk of Christ to 
the uh, Golgotha, we would do that through the crowd. Mm -hmm. So they would literally have to make space and put stanchions uh, so that we had space to do the production wow. in. Yeah, that would I mean, be insane trying to navigate through something like that. Yeah, again, oh, it was. The, and the in those times, they literally would put a couple of folks, usually soldiers, usually other actors dressed as soldiers, they would put them with me to get me through the crowd. Jesus, bodyguards. Uh, out, out of the park. Because it's not like Disney where you got pop up holes and tunnels to get from one place to another. We had to walk through the park to get to our productions. Yeah. What, what, so uh, on days like that, they had to help us. Eric, one of the things that really, or I'm sorry, uh, Andre, one of the things that really grabs my attention about these kind of roles is i was looking not that long ago when they were doing the christmas stuff at universal studios and a couple people posted this online they had the thing to meet the the grinch right and i think at one point it was over 400 minutes the wait to to meet the grinch and obviously this is just a person in a grinch costume but right. still if there's people waiting for 400 minutes to meet you, I feel like the, there would be the opportunity for that to go to your head a little bit. Like for you to just all of a sudden be like, yeah, you know, people are waiting for me, you know, and to kind of fall into the role. Did you ever find yourself doing that at all where you were like, you know, what, I'm, I'm, I'm in this role. I'm a big deal around here. Well, I, I can't necessarily speak to other folks who have played the role, but for me, it was honestly a very humbling experience. Um, and when I would go do meet and greets like that, yeah, it was always a lot. Honestly, it was almost a little bit anxiety inducing. Yeah. Um, because that. you have to understand these, these people have, they have a relationship with their board. Mm -hmm. So seeing someone that signifies them, you, like you were saying earlier, sometimes you can get out of a certain sense of reality and then, you know, it's like, all, all of those emotions that you feel that you've had in your prayer time and everything get dumped on that person. Yeah. Um, and that can be a lot of energy coming from people. So it, it wasn't really to me ever so much of a, I'm a big deal. And it more came from a place of, I have a responsibility. Hey, did they really have Jesus with the dinosaurs in that place? Or is that a thing that people made up? I, I don't think I have, no. I, there's, I think there's something like the Ark or something, or I, I'm not sure. There's something else I th I've heard that, that it mixes everything together. But no, we had the smile of a child there at the park. And, you know, it was like for little kids, there was like a, a rock climbing thing. There was an animatronic Jonah and the whale. You would go inside the whale and it would tell <laughs> the story of Jonah. And Jonah would be like floating there. He was animatronic, kind of like, you know, Peter Pan or Seven Dwarves or whatever right. those rides are. Disney, um, and we would do a little ministry of Jesus for the children. Like we would tell them the different parables and stuff. We, it was like a small thing in a little bitty room. Um, so we had that kind of stuff, but not dinosaurs. No dinosaurs. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time, Andre. We appreciate you. Andre was Jesus at Holy Land for many years, and it's a highly in demand time for G's as we uh, learned that they refer to multiple Jesus as playing the role. So thank you, Andre. We appreciate your time, man. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Be blessed. All right, there he goes. We got to a quick break. We're way behind. When we come back, we'll hear from you. You are going to join us with your dispatches. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Uh, that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for this afternoon. Two right lanes are blocked on I-4 westbound at Sand Lake Road. Police activity is blocking the turn lanes northbound and southbound on John Young Parkway at I-4. There's also an accident on John Young Parkway northbound at Central Florida Parkway. And on Lake Mary Boulevard, the left lane is blocked eastbound at I-4. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. 
This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online at a branch or in our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. In the 90s, New York detective Luis Garcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scorsella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. You can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 on all patio doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC 1527613. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Enjoying the news, Junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials. But if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days... You can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? Just call mo.com. Go to justcallmo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. 
Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Hey everyone, I'm Dante Marcatelli. And I'm Jake Chapman. We're the hosts of Magic Drive Time, the only daily audio fix for Orlando Magic fans. And actually, I just realized this, Jake, one of the longest running sports talk shows in Orlando. We've been at it for 13 seasons. How is that possible? Oh, wow. That's good stuff, Dante. And that's exactly what you'll get on Magic Drive Time each day. It's your touchstone for the latest Magic news, game previews, and reviews. We've got more stats and notes, and we know what to do with. Listen to Magic Drive Time on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Get back Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. Injured? Hire America's largest injury firm, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Documenting and contributing to the decline in American culture. This. Have you seen like the mutual stats stuff on Instagram that uh, there's a post that keeps going around on that mutual stats? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, this is the thing that will start more fights on Instagram than anything else we've ever Facebook, seen in our lives. Instagram, Twitter, like, y'all see this? What? I'm, I've never checked this out. And so here's how it works. Just in case you want to see this. And I guess for normal people, I don't know, maybe even for normal people, it would probably cause fights. But if you go on Instagram and search for an account, like let's say I'm going to search for C Lane, right? C Lane right. 86 over on Instagram. Now, if I'm on C Lane's profile on Instagram and I hit the three dots next to his name, I could click something called C Shared Activity. Have you seen this before? And then when you go to Facebook, likes, has a similar thing. It's like C Friendship. Do they? Okay. Because yeah. when you when you hit likes from there, now I can see all the things that I've liked on C Lane's Instagram. Like these are all the posts that C Lane has posted that I've liked. And then if I go to him, I can see all the things that he's liked from me. Now already I can see that C Lane has only liked four, eight, sixteen different things that I've posted. And I have like look at all of these countless things that I've liked from C Lane. Far more than the sixteen that he has liked from me. And you could start to see where these fights come from as you examine things huh. this way. Although as of late, he's had a lot more likes for me because he had a child and the adorable photos of the child are quite likable. And I've gone about uh, liking many of those. So that makes for, but I've seen a bunch of people <laughs> liked like, by you 16 photos. Well, right. <laughs> if you see like, uh, if you see somebody who, you know, well, and you look and you go, Oh, I've liked 40 of their things. And then you look at them and they've not liked a single one of yours. You start to get real personal about it. You're like, wait, what are you doing? What so, am I out here? There's a, there's a similar thing on Facebook where, and it's almost like the same thing, like the same process to get to it. If you're on somebody's Facebook page and let's say I go to Facebook.com slash, so what, what are you? Are you the news? No, you're not the news. What is it, Sean Watson? Sean, Sean Watson is my private one. Right. Yeah, yeah. Private. Uh, well, it used to be. Uh, and then uh, I hit the three dots. It says, see friendship. Then it'll show me like, oh, hey, uh, here's all the stuff that we've liked on each other. Here's photos we've been tagged in together. That's what it mostly is. And back in the day when you didn't have like when you were just talking to each other through comments, those are my favorite uh-huh. is you could see the conversations you would 
have with each other that is fully public now. Right. But yeah. al- also, I'm pretty sure there's a way if you like uh, do a little creative copying and pasting with a URL and like the the number that's attached to your name and to the other mm-hmm. person, you can look at the friendship of two other people that you're not even involved with mm. and oh. go, oh. How often do, does that person like that person or comment on this or how often do they tag together? You can start all sorts of fights. You can be like, you know, this person, even though they've been liking many, many things, they haven't liked anything of yours for three years. I've yeah. gotten that speech. <laughs> oh, you've had people get mad at you for not liking things? Oh, yeah. Me too. I, me too. I used to have this girl come up to me while I was playing at the bar and go, you still haven't accepted my Facebook friend request. Oh, yeah, I got that as well. And she was, like, really being kind of a dick about it. And I'm like, um, first of all, first world problem here, but uh, I can only have 5,000 friends. It maxes out. And yeah. then there's other people Tough where times. I'm like, I'm waiting for the day that they'll come up to me and be like, you haven't answered one of my texts <laughs> in five years, yet I continue to text you. That's a time. thing that, but that's different for us because of the show and because of the amount of like people that pay attention to what's going on. We have some different things that we face, I think. But you actually have, uh, how close are these people that you are saying are friends that will come up to you and be like, "Hey, you didn't like my stuff. What the hell's going on here?" Uh, I mean, it was a, it was a really long time ago, but it was definitely a close friend of mine. Same. Who had, I, like, who had confronted me? It was like you haven't you haven't liked any of the the posts that I had had put on. You know. Yeah. Is there something? Yeah. Is there something wrong? You want to talk about? I'm yes. like I don't know. I'm just scrolling. I, I'm sorry. Have and you ever been I confronted went, for something you have liked? Because I've got that too. I I don't know if I have. Well, hold on, Celia. What did you like that you got confronted for? It was Boobs. like uh, you know, like because uh, uh, I think on Instagram there used to be a feed where it's like, here's the stuff that your friends have been doing. Like the people you follow, and it's like, oh, uh, Clayne eight six liked these photos, and then it's like, oh, now I have to go into these photos and uh, and overanalyze what you liked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's a lot of this that comes too much out information. When, yeah, well, there's there's way too much information. But I had the same thing that Sabrina's talking about, and this is a person I know quite well, and they were like, oh, what the hell, man? I like all of the stuff that you post. Why aren't you liking the stuff that I post? And as simple as this, you're more of a, a, a you, you spend more time on social media than I do. And then yeah, I go back I, and I like every single thing possible. They get 40 notifications from me. I'm like, there you go. I've liked it's it all. the only way to do it because the person did not seem to understand. Like everything I was going to say sounded so bad. The first thing I was going to say was, um, well, aren't you liking things just based on the fact that you care about them when I post them? Or are you just doing it to like, you like all the things I post and then I'm supposed to like all the things you post? And he was like, I, oh, so you you actually are saying that you do see the things I posted. You just you're saying that you don't like them, which is why you didn't make any actions. Precisely. There. And then I'm like, oh, good. like I found that there's no right way out of that other than to just do what Sabrina said and just like all their things and be like, gotcha, we're all good. I caught up with all the posts I was supposed to like. It's very weird. It's exhausting. Very strange. Yeah, I don't quite understand it, but here we are. Uh, real quick, Donald Trump's true social. Lost $58 million in 2023. Um, despite that, uh, despite the fact that it makes no money at, at all, I think it only brought in $3 million worth of revenue, which is, it's insane to think that this is now worth a billion dollars. Just to show you how weird things are here, folks. All right, let me just line this up. Truth Social made, I uh, think, $3 million last year in revenue, right? Overall, it lost Fifty-eight million dollars in the in the calendar year, right? But they only brought in revenue of six million dollars or three million dollars. This one radio station that we base out of in Orlando makes multiples on multiples on multiples on multiples on multiples on multiples of that revenue that Donald Trump's True Social brought in in 2023, right? And there's no way that they would say one radio station that we're on is worth billions of dollars. It just wouldn't make sense for that to be the case. But here we are regardless, and uh, not not through this monies, but through otherwise. Donald Trump has posted $175 million in bond as of Monday of this week in his New York civil fraud case. That halts the collection of the $454 million he owns. uh, What are those Bible sales doing? Oh, you got to sell a lot of them to get this high. Uh, Prevents the state from seizing his assets to satisfy the debt while he appeals, it says. 
Uh, he had 10 days to put up the money, and then they said he actually did. He put up $175 million, which was less than they were requiring, um, but still a lot of money to put up, and that case is going to sit around for at least a little while now. Okay, when we come back, the final dispatches, stories that didn't make the cut, it's an to wrap everything up for a Tuesday, a Share the Show Tuesday, in fact. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. The Jim Colbert Show, out of context. I am not a chocolate sucker. What I do like to do, though, is uh, bite them in half and extrude the peanut while the shells of the M&M are dead in my mouth. That's oh, what it is. You're a tongue. nut sucker. I'm, well, I'm not a nut sucker, Deborah. Uh, <laughs> the Jim Colbert Show, weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Tuesday. And for today, we'll see a dry day. Temperatures, though, will be on the hot side with a high of 89 degrees in Orlando. Tomorrow, though, our Wednesday is a Fox 35 Storm Alert Day for the potential of some scattered, strong to severe storms. Most of these look to take place between the hours of 11 a.m. and roughly 6 p.m. We'll expect some heavy rainfall, frequent lightning, and strong wind gusts. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This this report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Hey, big thanks to Elixir Downtown for uh, dropping off some tacos for us today. Very delicious. Check out their menu. Amazing food over at Elixir and a uh, great place to watch the game, to watch the MMA fight. They're having one this Saturday, but also, right now, that's the place to go if you want to buy tickets to Earth Day, birthday, and not pay service charges. You go to Elixir, it's cash only. They'll sell you the ticket, no service charges. It's only for GA. If you need VIP, you got to go through Ticketmaster for that. But they are selling the tickets, and they're doing it now. Elixir Kitchen of Bar, 9 West Washington Street. It's downtown Orlando, right near the corner of Orange and Washington. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 7337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law Firm of Kaufman and Lind. If you've been in a car accident, you need to know a term. It's called statute of limitations. That means you have two years from the time of the accident to actually file a lawsuit if need be. If you don't do that, you're going to lose your rights to the claim. Now, sometimes some lawyers will wait till the last minute to file or contact you with just about a month left saying that they don't know if they want to proceed with your case. Be careful with that. For more information, contact me at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's A-L-S-C-O dot com. Every parent wants their child to find happiness in whatever path they choose. Florida Prepaid has a plan to help you support them by affordably and confidently saving for college. Our 529 prepaid plans start at just $34 a month, and you have peace of mind knowing that when you lock in 2024 prepaid plan prices, your payment will never go up. It's inflation-proof and further proof that it's the best way to ensure the brightest future. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. 
So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only, this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This Didn't make the cut. And today we're going to wrap everything up for a Tuesday. And a quick update here before we get into these final dispatches. That American couple that was left stranded by Norwegian cruises on the African island, they're now saying they don't want to get back on board. And they're uh, suggesting that even though they caught up with the ship, it took them like 48 hours to fly through seven different countries to reach the next port where the cruise is going to stop today. And they said, after what we witnessed, we truly believe that although there's a set of rules or policies the ship may have followed, they followed the rules too rigidly. I believe they really forgot that there are people working in the hospitality industry and they are really the safety and well-being of the customers. That should be their first priority and that should be placed first. So they're like, they went to the next port to catch up with them. And now they're saying we might not even get back on the ship, which. Why did you seems- go to the next port? Yeah, it seems like a weird move. It seems like a lawsuit move, honestly, because if they just jump onto the next port, they go, what are the damages that you have? You can't really say that much went wrong for you. So just say you don't feel safe for whatever, getting back on board. Uh, and as of now, they're suggesting they might not be comfortable reboarding the ship. We'll see where they go. All right, let's uh, see what you got for us on the way out because we got time for just a couple of dispatches. Uh, I'm a PC. This one just says Sabrina dot, dot, dot. I don't know what is beyond that, but here goes nothing. Hey, Sabrina. Hey. Speaking of people who haven't edited you back or anything with messages, I tried to reach out through Instagram to ask for you for Fritz on the Street. I knew it was going to be Fritz on the Street. Weeks ago, and nothing. So, uh-huh. yeah. Can you add me back and do Fritz on the Street for me tomorrow? Please? No. Well, you're the only one who is messaging her on her Instagram. So there's no other, like, reasons why she wouldn't have seen it. For it's sure. just, yeah, it's just... I imagine the same Instagram name as his dispatch name, right? I don't know. I'm a PC is all I see Out in it. front of me here. And... Um, yeah. Let me see. Um, Try to get you more info about the person, but Matthew? I Matthew? Mm, I don't know. I can't tell you without going to another well, screen Message here. me again. 
and, and our setup. Hopefully, I remember tomorrow. Here's Winking Llama. We got this for us. This just says divorce. What's up, junkies? Hey. I just want to shout out to the moon that my girlfriend's divorced. Yeah. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, pop, pop. Congratulations, buddy. All Good right. for you, Winking Llama. Lock it in. You did it, I guess. Uh, okay, let's do a couple of stories that did make the cut. Open AI. What does she just... think about that announcement? <laughs> she's she's not listening to the show. Uh, Open AI just unveiled the voice cloning technology that they say is going to change everything. It's called Voice Engine. It's capable of mimicking any voice from a brief 15-second audio sample. The result is a synthetic voice that delivers a natural-sounding speech, they say. This is the latest from Open AI. Uh, are phones to blame for the mental health epidemic, says Morning Brew. A uh, decent question, but I don't know that we have the answer to it. And Planners is looking to hire crew to travel the country in the nutmobile. So if you're interested in traveling the country in the they nutmobile. They call me in college. They will, <laughs> they will pay you for that, I guess. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Here we go. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call today. I learned. I'm so mad at myself. I printed today. I learned. I printed it front and back. Oh, oh, that's the worst. I hate it. It screws me up so bad. I know it's a simple thing and it saves paper, but it screws me up. No, no, no. Today I learned for a Tuesday. Uh, share the show Whoa. Tuesday, April second, twenty twenty four. I was not going to drop the s bomb in case that's what you were freaking out about. Um, at least not purposefully. Here goes nothing. Today I learned children born in the early to mid-1980s, that's me, they're called the This Generation. The This Generation. The DuckTales Generation. Really? That's right, the yeah. DuckTales Generation yeah. in Hungary, because their first encounter with politics, they say, happened in 1993, when a DuckTales episode they'd been waiting for all week was cut short to announce the death of their prime minister in Hungary. And uh, that's mem remembered by a lot of kids who were that certain age. I just remember DuckTales. I just remember Woo. going home and watching DuckTales, which was a good time. Today I learned there was a 20-year-old Belgian man who died from eating five-day-old spaghetti. Didn't that's know that it? Was just a five days? Big risk. Yeah, I, I figured you could leave spaghetti I'm out for a little while. Done that. Yeah, <laughs> I think <laughs> even longer. <laughs> I said a 20-year-old man became sick after eating a meal of leftovers of spaghetti with tomato sauce, which had been prepared five days before and left in the kitchen at room temperature. They said, you can't do that. You leave it out at room temperature for that long. Look, I just tried to throw the paper away. Didn't even read the back of it. Today I learned <laughs> this, um, this show right here. Star Trek. Damn it. That's Every right. Star Trek time. is correct. Hey. The Wrath of Khan. 1982. I was one year old. Had the smallest budget of all the Star Trek movies at only $12 million. However, it. it's often considered by many to be the best of all of the Star Trek movies, despite that small budget. Um, I didn't see it. I don't know. Maybe it sucks. Maybe it's good. <laughs> Hard for me to say. Today, I learned this group right here. Fish was named after two college buddies of singer Darius Rucker. One friend wore huge round glasses that made him look like an owl, and the other had big puffy cheeks that made him look like a bo blowfish. So they called him Hootie and the Blowfish. Cool. And he named his band That's after creative. them. Now you know where Hootie and the Blowfish came from. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Missed any of the show? Get the podcast at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Yeah.